This is the part before Max says, and uh, you know, I get a message from Matt fucking G. You know why, Mo? Because when I fell off, you wouldn't answer my calls. <laughs> or you wouldn't. You would... Oh, Mo, play. Mo, hey, what's up with the makeup? Dog, it's a podcast, so, man. We don't yeah, do we, makeup here. We don't do makeup here. Yeah? Nigga, I'm fucking professional. <sighs> and if Mother, you, shoot, your forehead is still shining. Because that's, that's my future, dog. <laughs> it stays so <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did I say you look cute today? You did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you didn't. Explain. I met my wife at a Rock the Girls party. Oh! oh. So, 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 so Max should have been your best man at your wedding. Yeah, I should have been. But, I mean, can you imagine Mac G in a suit? I mean, fuck it. Oh, he doesn't. Right? No, you oh, right? Beautiful. <laughs> Start now. Net record. Start. <laughs> Did I send, Net record. I sent it to you, Ne? Yeah. You got Start. it, Ne? Nah. Shut up. Let's go. Ah, the one. No, Ne, the one from... You could be my presser today. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm pressing shit. You don't want to press. <laughs> I ain't getting paid yeah. for this shit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like, actually. 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 Fuck it. <laughs> You know, yeah, well, you're famous now. After, yeah, today, after today, famous, is I'm a famous eh? boy. <laughs> after today, you'll be proper famous. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to this fucking show that I'm on now. Um, and I don't even know why I'm here, mm. but I'm here. So before I let you know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let me actually go around the room and uh, see who else is hanging out today. So, hey, Ben, Sol is here, Effect Checkers here, Ghost Ladies here, Black Studios here, Dudu, the producer, is here. Good. Shout out Spiwe. Hey. Mr. Blowjob Man is also here. Hey. And the one and only, Mo Flavor. Woo! In the fucking flesh. AKA. AKA Puff Daddy. <laughs> yeah, no, but hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay, wait. Just like, can Ola, we just take a moment? Hola, Puff Daddy. Here's the thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I get a message from Matt fucking G. Yeah. I'm surprised this message came through. I thought you blocked him. Anyway, yeah, continue. like, what's the relationship there? And, 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 and I thought this is the best place to start. Before we even get into the show, I mean, I don't even know what you guys do here. The, one, one of the guys, uh, is he the guy that got the blowjob? Yeah. Yeah, so he's like showing me buttons. I'm like, nigga, don't be touching me. I don't, don't know where you were before the show. We got that on camera. We were, we're started already. I'm not going to press any buttons here, but I've asked him to press for me if there's a need, right? Okay. Apparently That's there's cool. sound effects and shit. That's wise of you, yeah. But anyway, so here's the thing. So Mac G sends me a message. <laughs> yeah. And he says, hey, fucker. Yeah. Because that's what we call each other, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you come stand in for me because I'm going away? Mm. Hmm. So I'm thinking, okay, I don't know this number. So it's probably a scam. Yeah. Right? So I read it. And then a few hours later, I call him. And it turns out it's actually him. Mm. Yeah. So um, obviously he says, no, no, no. You know, come through on the show because I'm going away. So can you do a stand in? Yeah. I said, okay, uh, what's the catch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I, am I going to be hanging out here and then all of a sudden there's like strippers walking in that I haven't paid like 10 years ago? Yo. Like, yeah, we found those strippers that you owe money. <laughs> Why don't you pay your strippers, Mo? Like, is, is, is that like a prank? No, but for real. Wait, so, wait, wait. So if you didn't recognize the number, this tells me that you guys hadn't spoken and the last time you spoken, he, he was using a different number. And so the first thing he said was, just come host the show. 
He's told all to of me. us, all of us think there's so much tension between yeah. the two of you. You would have cleared the air first. No, but here's the thing. He spoke to me like I was with him yesterday. Whoa. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hey, because that's what we call each other. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A, yeah. Hey, fucker, yeah. Hey, fucker this, hey, fucker that. Mm. So I'm thinking, okay, so if this is how he's speaking to me right now, then it means yes, actually. Uh, it's like we were hanging out yesterday, mm. right? And, and obviously, uh, the last time I was with him was actually at uh, Moloko. In Pretoria. Yeah, when I tried to make you guys reunite and you guys are like, oh. No, but here's the thing. No, 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 actually, so, no, fuck you, bro. You know what? Because you're not gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna take no credit for for shit that didn't happen. What do you mean? I brought the two of you together and said, kiss or whatever you guys, you fuckers do. Nah, so, no. So here's what happened, right? Uh, we're hanging out in the in the DJ booth in the VIP area at Moloko. Yeah. So this guy is playing. He's drunk as fuck, which oh. is nothing new. Okay. He's drunk. He's like slurring everywhere. He's like just hugging me. I'm like, bro, like, yo, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then Mac pulls through Ooh. with like 15 girls. Yeah. <laughs> which which is nothing new, by the way. Because how yeah. long ago was this? Wait, my lady, you know, man, me out to defend my nigga in his absence. I'll defend my nigga, my lady, you know, man, I'll defend my nigga in his absence. Okay, my lady, you know, man, but who kept master, but who smooth, yes, but who you mean, chasing, but who chasing the usual guy, you know, man, and a lady. All right, fine. If those niggas are girls, then those niggas are girls, they are girls, my lady, the niggas are girls. But now, here's the thing, right? Um, and him and I greeted each other, and it was cool. For some reason, he thinks he's going to be the hero of the day and try and bring us together. Oh. Right? But here's the fucking thing. I'm a you know, back. You know, people always say, uh, what's your beef with Mac G? You know what? I'm like, I don't have beef. Mm. I have never said a single thing about Mac anywhere. Well, he said a lot. I know, as what, it turns out. What did you say to him? Because <laughs> apparently the story is he fucked up at Y and then got fired. And the first person to say, I told you so, was you. I probably might have said that, yeah. Ah, probably. You know what? Because I done told that nigga so. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. Because I think I... you took that too hard. No, you no, really no, like... that guy. In well, here's here's no, the other thing. That guy. <laughs> he's not even here. <laughs> and that's the best time to talk about it. Ah, he's a fucking coward, man. <laughs> no, because he, he's told his story. Mm -hmm. He's told his side of the story. The chillers know his side of the story, and that's his side of the story. Unless Kanye knows a deeper side, because they're closer to Kanye, you know, them together. But that's the story you know, right? No, that's the story I know. Like, yeah, so what's your side and, of the and story? In fact, this is how Mac call, it's, it calls you industry. You're not a real friend. You're, you, you were industry. <laughs> so explain why you were industry to him. No, man, that guy is a lying little shit. <laughs> and he knows this. No, it's so, a fact. So where does his resentment, why is he so aggrieved? Where does his source of resentment, not resentment, because he doesn't hate you, hence yeah, your hair. Yeah, exactly. But he, he will always take a shot at you um, and he does call you industry. Where does that come from? So so uh, you, you, you honestly like going to get into like, like an interview. This is a podcast, my man. Like, are you like, is this is this an interview? This yep. podcast goes where is this an interview? This could bro, go it's there. Not. I didn't we, come here to be interviewed to the show. We haven't even got into the show. <laughs> this is the part before Max says end you know? <laughs> and we're still just chatting. <laughs> then we're gonna do the end up part. Yeah. Yeah. No, but here's history. the thing, here's the thing. All right, all right, here's the thing, okay? Um Mac G and I's history stems back like way back. Yeah. Five film days. Well when, documented. When he started out, right? And in fact, he started out on my radio show in the evening. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I had, a, I, had a, I had an entertainment segment on my evening show on YFM, the Urban Express. Mm. And it was such a, a, a cool segment because all he had to do was just to deliver entertainment news. Mm. That's all he had to do every day. Come through, tell me about who's doing what in the entertainment industry. But because Mike is so fucking disorganized, he would never do that. He would just get on air and just start talking shit. Shut and him up. and I just built this rapport on air of just talking shit whenever he was on air. Yeah. Wow. And that's how the relationship kind of grew. And we obviously hung out a lot. We used to, you know, play FIFA together at his house uh, in Parktown and whatever. So our, our relationship goes like way back. Now, I don't have any beef with that little shit. Okay. Right. And um, I don't think he's got beef with me either. Yeah, well, he doesn't. Clearly. Nah, he doesn't. Or maybe yeah. he's healed. He nah, goes, he doesn't. You know, he if, goes for uh, therapy now. Yeah. So the <laughs> baby he has healed. They said, reach out, reach an olive branch out to him. And this is maybe his olive branch. The yeah. biggest scam, right, in South Africa right now is Mac G having beef with me. Mm. That is a scam, guys. So keep content. And all you fuckers felt So it. hold on. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. You like, it is, you're it contradicting is, it is, yourself. It is just... 
It's a scam. If you didn't, if you didn't have no beef, such thing. If you didn't have beef with them, then why is it that you've only if you haven't spoken with one another in years? Okay, so and you when, guys were best buddies. When, when last did you call me, Saul? So just like call a nigga up, like yo, man, how you doing? No, but yeah, you, yeah, yeah, we spoke, yeah, we spoke. Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, said yeah. so Panduga. Fuck you, dog. Mac has had this when number. Listen, me? Mac has had this number for two years now, and we spoke last year. You said well done on your new gig when yeah. I went to Kaya, and I was like. Flipper! Oh, oh, yeah, because I'm the, you know, the nice guy that just reaches out, like, oh, you know, sends you a message. Says, you know well why? Done. You know yeah. why, Mo? Because when I fell off, you wouldn't answer my calls. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. Ah, you would, <laughs> Mo, play. Mo, Barcelona would be oh, playing. Oh, I love this. I love this. Barca would lose. Barca would lose. Barca would lose. And Mo would be like, I would be like, ha, ah, you lost. Ha, ah, you blue tick me. So oh, I was like, ah, oh, industry. I was like, ah, industry. I was like, ah, industry. I was like, that is another scam. <laughs> Soap and Duga and I used to speak a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I remember having conversations with him about having like a stint on Metro and Fresher Show when he did the breakfast show. Yeah. Yeah. I remember us chatting about like how, you know, life has been for him, mm -hmm. right? The ups and downs and how this could be an opportunity for him to really like get back into the, the swing of things. And I was excited for him. You don't remember that conversation? I don't. You don't remember that conversation? <laughs> I don't. You lie, son of a bitch. You don't remember. <laughs> Tell and me, bro. I, and I was the one. Yeah. I was the one who was like, oh, man, you know what? If, if, if there's anybody who can make this segment happen, it's, it's fresh and you guys will do it, whatever. And you were telling me about, you know, all of that I stuff. I think you had a little fresh. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if we did, if we did, it means we've always Yo. been cordial. Wait, dog, no. if we Podcast did. Podcast one, oh, one yeah, zero. Yeah. <laughs> if, we, if we did, Never. it means we've always been cordial. Then it goes against what you're trying to say. It no, means we've but, always been good. No, but you're saying. You and I don't have you beef. Said, you're we saying, don't have beef. Yeah, it's never had. I, I know that. I know yeah, that. No, we could. You're saying that when you fell, I didn't even, fell off what? Where, where did you fall off, Saul? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck did you fall off from? <laughs> Flavor! Where did you fall off what, my man? Hey, what? Where? Hey, Puff Diddy, yeah. Puff Diddy. Yeah. You fell off what? Yeah. Hey, tell me now. Now that you tell the story of Mac and how you got to IFM or how you put him in, do you sometimes watch the show and feel like, you know, you're the unknown father of this show? Because... <laughs> Because the, the first time I was ever, 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 ever. Yeah, because the first time I was ever, 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 ever on radio, on YFM, was when I'd entered a competition. Remember, coolest thing on campus. Yeah, I remember. Then I got on And whose radio show was that on? Ah. Uh, 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 okay, <laughs> tell the story. No, 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 carry on, carry on. I'm just, I'm no. just asking. On his show, he had a feature oh, called right. The Coolest Thing on Campus. Right. Mm. <laughs> and I sent them 100 emails. And was saying, have me, have me, have me on. And I got there. Then I was on. Then the next time you saw me was, uh, 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 what's this? Um, it was Y Academy. Y Academy. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. you were going to breakfast. And then you were like, Sol is so good. I need him on my breakfast show. <laughs> and then I was on his breakfast show. Nice. I mean, it didn't quite work out like Sol is so good. And you actually, know? <laughs> actually, actually. But, but I, mean, I know, I know. Sh shout, before you go on, shout out to Teko. Because she was the one who was rooting for me. You were like, this fucker, fuck this fucker. Oh, He's not going to work on my show. <laughs> oh, never, never. I know the story. So here's the thing about Sol, right? Sol, you know, in that group of Y Academics. And by the way, shout out to the Y Academy. I think it's it's one of the, the most amazing you know, platforms to really get young people into radio. It's the one thing Canton Play got right. Right? Yeah. right? YFM. So yeah. big shout out to the Y Academy. Soul was the loudest of all those kids that came through in that wow. group. We believe voice. that. And he was the one that everybody hated. Mm. True. Not, everyone, because of, everyone. Not, not because they knew him well, nah. but just because he spoke like so much. Mm. He couldn't shut up. He was everyone. loud. Yeah. He was obnoxious. And he had a whole lot of porn on his computer. So <sighs> nobody, like, nobody liked that. I right? And I was like... Computer, yeah. <laughs> this, but you know what I picked up? That he's, he's, he's actually quite smart. Mm. I didn't know that he knew that then, but I picked it in, in the midst of all the, the muck and well, the we, thickness we know now. and the loud mouthness and all of that. And that's brilliance. what I picked up. Mm. I don't know about brilliance, you know? <laughs> but what I, will say, what I will say is that one of, one of my most enjoyable moments on radio was what this motherfucker here. Is it? The brilliance, like I said. So nah, hands down, when you worked with Soul, you enjoyed it. Those yeah, I did. I did. I mean, some of the radio we did, bro. I mean, that was, I mean, you know, the creativity, the, the skits we used to come up with, right? Yeah. The content. We used to spend time coming up with good, hot shit radio, right? And, and at the time, you know, it was just us and like our drive and, it. and our eagerness. And teamwork. My drive was full of porn, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, the, 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 the worst part of it, it was is very that hard. you didn't even give me like a drop 
of any of that stuff. Because I would see the girls you like, but I was like, man, Mo's into different girls that I like. Okay, what kind of girls do I like? Ah, obviously. <laughs> Yellow cats, yellow bones, <laughs> petite girls, yellow, no, you know what I mean? Like petite, you know what I like? Well, now you oh. like the difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's known. So I was like, ah, this fucker won't know shit, you know? He's going to be like, what is this, man? No, but He's here's a fat woman. No, but here's the thing. Like, um, there are many uh, different stories, mm -hmm. right, that I have with this guy here and with Mac G. Yeah. And I can say now, categorically, I have no beef with this motherfucker. Both of them. No, no, me. No, 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 no me. So, no beef. No, no, me. Never. No, no, me. There's never. Mac G, no beef whatsoever. In fact, every time people ask me, I get surprised. I'm like, okay. But weren't you guys, you and Mac specifically, weren't you guys like best friends? You guys yeah. had a product together. Yeah. Rock the girls. Yes. You guys have stories. Did we rock you girls. by any chance? No. Ah, she used no. to be a regular at the Kalawa. No, no, no. I wasn't, I wasn't the, the rock and the rock. And oh, the we didn't. We, no, we never got to you. No. She was Kalawa no, stock. No, no, no. No, then we, no, then they, we didn't do, we didn't do the, the jobs properly. <laughs> She's taken now, man. I'm She's taken. taken now. No, but you know what? It was part of an era, right? Uh, when we're all growing up in, 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 in that era. Is that a era. pun? Era. Hi, <laughs> boo. Uh, press, uh, press. You know, you know, you know, yeah, press, I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you, go. <laughs> you, you know what I find funny, just by the way, as I digress, right? And by the way, this show is not scripted. I don't even know what I'm doing. But here's no, it's the not. thing. Yeah. People get so taken aback by Saul's wit and his use of language and all the puns he drops. This guy's been doing it since his YFM days. Yeah. And people are acting like, oh, like, wow. Like, I'm like, no, actually, this guy's had it. He's had it. So please don't act surprised when you hear so Thank dropping you, random doll. puns Thank you, that have nothing to do with anything. I, but, I'm curious to find out about the Rock the Girls. How did that whole product start, guys? So Rock the Girls was crazy because it started out of lingo. Right, so um, our only lingo, myself, Mac G, and Bobster, Oskido's brother. Yeah. Um, that's the kind of language you used to use. Uh, another person who used that language was Christos. But let me put it in context wow. before I come across uh, something else, right? Okay. So we would always ask each other after a weekend, like, yeah. so my man, you know, how was the weekend? Yeah. Yeah, my man, I was rocking the girls. <laughs> because as DJs, you know, when you go to clubs and you go to parties, you know, the idea is to go out there and make girls happy, right? Yeah. That's, that's the thing. True, okay. true. Okay. But then, obviously, the meaning extended to many different things. But the mm -hmm. bottom line is, that's kind of how... So we started using this rock the girls phrase on air, and then all of a sudden, it just started, like, really just catching on. And listeners were, like, vibing and whatever. And, and it was interesting around about the time that Facebook was also starting to, like, kick in in the country. Mm -hmm. So social media became, like, quite a great sort of platform where... We could grow this brand. And we started doing parties. I remember our first party, our first Rock the Girls party was at a club in Four Ways called Tokyo Sky. Sure, I remember Tokyo Sky. Yeah. And <laughs> it was literally like ladies free till like nine, but yeah. the club was full by seven. Ooh. It was just crazy, man. And, you know, like we had a great lineup. We gave out shots of tequila to all the girls. Dope. You know, <laughs> you know? And, and you check when, when girls leave the club, like... It's like um, you look outside and all you see... Please give him water, bro. Oh, okay. And all, oh, yeah. Is it for me? No, no. Well, it's for you as well. Okay. And for him. And it's for him, Guys, bro. I'm not going on like a 15-hour drive to Cape Town, you know? My man, don't worry, bro. Just drink. <laughs> yeah, 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 you were saying? So, so it, like, I'll rock the girls' party. The first one was just epic. I mean, wow. I remember, I think uh, Selim Atunzi was there covering the party. Like, I remember seeing, like, celebrities that I never, like, met before personally. Uh, DJ Spoo was on the lineup because he asked he asked to play. And, and that was a big deal for us, you know. So yeah. I think that the whole culture around um, the Rock the Girls, um, you know, idea and, you know, the, the party and whatever was just based on that. Then we decided to put out condoms mm. because we figured, yeah, you know what, it's going to be... Wait, wait, no wonder you guys have kids. You decided uh, to pull out condoms. Yeah, we put out condoms. <laughs> you put... Oh. <laughs> no, because here's the thing, right? We you thought it was a really cool idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now there's like eight kids between the two of them. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. We thought it would be a cool idea to have this condom range. And it also had a, a really like important message around responsible rocking as well. That's true. So yeah. we can rock. Not to that. We can rock whatever, but let's do it responsibly. Mm -hmm. So we did all of that with Mac. And, you know, it was actually literally just building this thing as we go. You know, the bigger the thing became, the more 
we were like taken aback. The more we wanted to do, wanted to have more parties. I remember doing a party at Zanzu in Hatfield. I rocked the girls' party there. Whoa. Yeah. And I mean, which year was this? This was probably 2009. Mm. Yeah, mm. 2009. Now, here's the thing. I was still on air at the time because I was doing my evening show. Mac was already at the club by seven. And I called him on air just to check up on the vibe. You know, you know, how's the vibe looking? He's like, nigga, it's packed. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? my man, fucker, it's full, fucker, it's Yo. full. Right? And it was crazy. I mean, the queue went to McDonald's. Shit. Right now, if you know Hatfield Square, before they started putting all those apartments, I mean, that was like the place in Pretoria. So, I mean, we did so many of those kinds of parties. We had merch, we had bum shorts, we had t-shirts, condoms. It was you had cool. merch Jesus even, bum Christ, shorts. Bro. Y'all did some crazy. Yo. Why did you document all of that? It sounds like shit. Well, that's, that's a good idea. That's, that's a good thing, idea. Man. And and that would have been the right thing to do I, at I'd the like time. I'd like to see the ladies who bought all this merch and the bum shorts should like, uh, take a picture you, of themselves now. <laughs> I think I think they've all been like kids, moms, they got families, yeah. they're married, okay. you know, been through a lot, you know what I mean? Been through a lot. <laughs> I mean, like, well, those life, didn't, adulting has happened, <laughs> life has happened. Those who didn't use the condoms are dead. <laughs> ah, so, uh, so, uh. <laughs> now, maybe just some crazy things, and I don't think like the industry has seen a, co- a brotherhood like between the two of you, you know, since you guys did it. And sadly, it was not even like at a big national scale but nonetheless you what guys have done it wasn't national you know where no like in- known known you know where parties in Cape Town Rock where the Rock Figgles party in Cape where the Rock Figgles party at at Afro Lounge when Tira used to run Afro Lounge in Durban for real yeah we had a Rock Figgles party there we had people asking us to come through to wherever they were in the country so I think the buzz and the power of YFM was exactly that that you could do something really cool and if it's big enough in, in, in the YFM regions, and then it catches on. That's when YFM was still like YFM. It still is, but you know what I mean. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I mean, different energy now. Different yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah. The, the energy yeah. then. Yeah. And they, even the energy before was even crazier. But then it was still there. Yeah. I mean, for example, you know, to really be a star in, in, in that era, you had to be out in the streets. Mm. You had to be out, you know, all the time. You know what I mean? You literally had to be in the spaces. You couldn't just, you know, stay online the whole day, stay on social media and then blow up while you're in your bedroom. You literally true, have to be out there. True, true, you know, true. you had to, um, you know, make uh, a name for yourself in different spaces. Mm. And, and that's how you built your brand as, as a star. You know, I often talk about radio superstars where people are famous because of radio. That's what you could do. Mm. That's what you, you could literally have a radio show. And if it's big enough, you become a star. Mm. Literally. And, and that was literally how, you know, I became... Um, <laughs> star. <laughs> a star. A star. I don't want to say that. <laughs> do you see? You, do you do, do you see you guys revive your friendship, like being back to where you guys were, or is it almost like we were just friends then? I think we must just allow. We've grown older now, guys. It is what it is. No, here's the thing, right? Um, I have nothing to revive because Mac G has always been my friend. Mm. Mac G and I had the kind of relationship where we could tune each other. And he knows. Mm. If there was one guy that I tuned more than anyone in the industry and outside of that, it was that guy. I tuned Mac G more than my own cousins and, and all of that stuff. Because yes, he was young when he got into the industry and he used to fuck up a lot, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all know this, right? Yeah. And he's probably spoken Every, about yeah, this a lot. Him, yeah, yeah. No, 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 come on. So Sorry, about the, the human human fuck ups. Yeah, we all fuck up. We don't up. see them. Yeah, we, we don't see them. Fuck up. You, we don't see them. Everybody knows my fuck ups. Yours, we don't see them, but it's cool. You're human, everyone is human. So, 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 whenever things went well, I would tell him, this is great. Whenever it was bad, I would say, my guy, you're fucking up. And that's what friends do. And that's what friends do. Friends can't always say. And he knows this. Be a cheerleader. And, and one thing that I used to annoy that used to annoy him, I think, is the fact that I always used to tell him not to do something because shit is going to go down, and it's not going to go down nice. Now, knowing Mac, right, he's not the kind of guy who wants to be told what he can't do. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so so our relationship was really at that level. Um, I was surprised, and I and even to this day I'm surprised that that you know people come up to me and say there's beef when I haven't said anything about him, and he's the only one chirping. He's the only one. More flavor this, more flavor that. Because he comes across as he's aggrieved. Like, no, he's, he's aggrieved. So much so that he can't even just pick up the phone and say, yo, nigga, I'm fucking aggrieved. <laughs> true. <laughs> you know true, what I mean? True, true. 
But, but also, I think no, also another, fact. another thing that um, I think Mac also highlighted was that he went through spaces in his life, where, for instance, when he had a kid and he felt like you never reached out to congratulate him or or just about, you know, I think the, there was such... But to be fair, okay. when you had a kid, were you guys cool? Or Were you no longer... Yeah, we were cool. As in like, oh, maybe but did you, did you know, know that he had a like kid and no, said, no, but, no, but hey, congrats, brother? You? Yeah, but here's the thing, right? Like, so how many, how many kids you got, Dougie? Eight. You see, now have you ever, have you ever? <laughs> now I'm kidding, I got one. You see, like, I got you, one. Have you, have you ever said, hey, yo, dog, I got a kid to me? But does no, that but when mean, I had my kid, but, we, but, we were estranged. But does that mean that we're beefing now because you never told me or I never congratulated you? Know what I'm if saying? we are boys, come on, man. if we are boys, like, we were estranged. Was, nah, no, 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 the thing is, he made that if, example. Like, Mo that's doesn't a terrible even, example. Doesn't even, okay, see, no, Mac, <laughs> that's was a terrible example. <laughs> and he's not even, yeah, he, he's such a fucking coward. <laughs> okay, but you guys are good. That, he that, that's cool. He America Enough, for you to be here. That's cool, though. Yeah, that's cool. As long as you guys are good, man. In fact, I remember even in my time at Y, I would speak to a pro programs manager, yeah. right? And I'll be like, bro, okay, cool. Uh, we know that Max screwed up, but I think it's time to bring him back. Even before I left Y. Oh. And in fact, I know there've been attempts to bring Mac to Y, uh, even in that time. Man, right? there was a time Mac and was doing shows, he couldn't say his name. Those times <laughs> Mac got brought at Y, they really loved him. Man. So <laughs> like, he got brought back doing some late, in three o'clock show, but he wasn't saying who he is. Are you serious? Yeah, I, I remember so, that yeah, period. Yeah, so the point is that even in the time that we weren't maybe speaking a lot or chatting every day, because it happens with people, you know, you drift apart and you come back together, whatever. Mm. I've always vouched for, for Mac, especially when it comes to radio, because I did believe he was talented. And he was. And when he left Y, for example, he was doing a really hot show, right? So even when I was at Metro, I would call the manager at Y, be like, okay, guys, you guys just bring that guy back. He's still young. He's got the energy. He's still yeah. Cool. You know what I mean? And whether or not uh, it happened and, you know, there's many stories around how it almost happened, but it didn't happen. But the point is that I've always vouched for him, nice. even in the time that maybe we were not speaking for long or because as far as I'm concerned, there's no beef, right? There's no beef. So I cannot wait for him to come back from America. No, some bulls are good. Some bulls are good. Like on a unique in Ayako because... The, the day Saul can't make it, we'll ask so, please, you must be here. Oh, so that, that would be great. Yeah. Hey. Then you too. No, but Guys, then you must start paying me. No, 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 but then you must start paying me. You're so cool next week. No, then start paying me. I mean, I'm doing this for free. <laughs> Oh, you're more flavor, dude. You work at nine four seven. You're more flavor. You're earning six hundred k. Please, oh, at nine four seven. You're more flavor. What, what am I? You Kaiser mean, Chiefs player. Sundown <laughs> player. <laughs> Kaiser Chiefs player have nothing on nine four seven. True. Hey, hey, guys, nine four seven is like that. Is the is, Hollywood is, of radio? It's, it's like the, it's like you know. All you do is competitions. You don't even do radio. You just competitions. <laughs> yeah, hey, competitions. You just giveaways, announce it. Like announce giveaways. Oh. And then five five clipper, eight o'clock. Oh. Have you worked at hey, Have you worked oh. before? Man. No, I rem yeah? I almost. Remember, I almost. Yeah, remember, yeah. they almost took me from our show, uh, Oanele, and then I I didn't. But no, I have. Oh yeah, and I goodness. remember that. I remember. You remember. That. But what? then, but then, Fresh took you to five from why? When yeah, you came back, five is okay. When you came back from from Big Brother. Nah, five, dude, that. Five is still like. Is why am I drinking water? Fuck. Fuck no, actually, actually. Like, God damn. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Pedro. Oh, 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 Pedro. Dash, 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 dash. No, but why do you guys want me to drink gin? Where's the whiskey? What's wrong with you? Whiskey. Nah, whiskey. I want to get a whole metro. This is podcast. This is a whole metro. I'm going to take this to. It's always Sunday. I'm going to metro. Whiskey. I'm going to take this to my next gig. And, you know, I'll just put it in the VIP section for everyone. Staying out with me. Yeah, but uh, have some now. I know you don't do What's that. Nice? This is yours. We will open it. What? Nice? <laughs> Why? I see. I'm bringing ball on the ice. Let's have the ice. Let's the ice. Bafuna, bafuna, spend the cup. Hey, I say I'm bringing ball. Yeah, but I'm bringing ice. Jai am. Oh, all right, fine. We're gonna have to mix. That's your share. That's your share. Tell me mix it. 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 Tell me no, no, not me, boy. I've got an ice boy, yeah. Don't worry. Oh, oh, okay. oh yes. Yeah. And you know what? When I saw, when I saw, that look mixella. Ubiza, Ubiza, ice boy, Ubiza, go watch all that. You blow job on national podcast. <laughs> hey, oh, <laughs> on national radio. I'm mean, I'm bad at mixing. You know, I'm. I've got a heavy hand. Yeah? No, I know. That's why you end up like the yes, way you do when you drop. I've got a heavy hand. 
You know, I, was, I, was I remember at, I was we were at a gig. Oh, he, he hasn't changed Mo. I know. I remember no. I was playing in 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 Guatemala, right? A couple of years ago. Okay. In fact, many years ago, and he and I was with him. Yeah. And we're rolling together, and he was shit faced, right? <laughs> and guess who was at this party? Oh, a whole Claire Mawisa. She was there. Oh, oh Claire! Oh. Right? I can see clearly now. The Look at that. Rain is Look at that. On. Cut blanche, Claire. And was he not like literally all over her, groveling? I mean, I was just like, bro, this is Claire Mawisa. You don't fucking do that shit. What? <laughs> So no. Ah, so eh, 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 huh? so no. No, but we made Claire good now. You're good now. Ah, what's Claire? What's up, Mwisa, boy? Oh, yeah. Clearly. Clearly. What's up, Mwisa? I mean, Claire Mwisa was like, and, and, and by, by was, I mean like. When, I did that to Claire Mwisa. Yeah. And this is Claire Mwisa. She was a star from like SBC yeah. One, the YFM yeah. days. Yeah. See, you know, she, yeah. she was an icon. <laughs> She was an icon, and here you are trying to munya her. I want to tell Simunye so that you can be, so that you can be one. <laughs> oh, we are one. Now shout out to Claire. I love Claire, man. Respect. No. She is an icon. You know Dude, what I mean? Did I get that to Claire? Yeah. Even Tebe, I think I spoke Mkhod on Tebe. You remember? I spoke at, at Bahama, at Bahama. Before he performed. I spoke Mkhod on Tebe. Oh, 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 so so, 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 so he's a problem. He is problem. Sol is clumsy, yeah. But I, but I love him. The way he is, right? Yeah. And, and and I think um, you know, of all oh, TV, shout out. He saw them quote and said, Oh hell yeah, nigga. <laughs> <Here's why. laughs> of all the people I want to get shit faced with, he's not one of them. No, because once no. he's there, like, you know, we're not coming back. <laughs> no. We're not coming back alive. <laughs> but you know what? I, I, it's 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 good to be here. It really is, right? Can you give yeah, me a man. drink. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm fine. Drink. I'm fine. drink. drink. Pooza, pooza, By the way, that was what was that the intro? Yeah, yeah, we're going to start up the show. Now you must yeah. say Henda. <laughs> That's oh, what? Don't, you don't want to. Or you refuse to That's, even. Um, tonic and, and, and grandeur. Okay, put, put a bit of uh, uh, energy, energy drink in drink, there. Yeah. You see, when you're, when you're on a show like this, right? Where they don't offer you a drink, you know. No, we've got our own energy like, drink. You know, cheap budget no, shoots. No, no, no. <laughs> like, you just drink anything. Anything. It's like you're in one of those bars there in Brahm where they're selling like five rand Brahm. shots and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's this. <laughs> You know, you know, when, when, when you're in this, this club and people are like, no, drink this, you're like, what is this? The smells of paraffin and like, yo, oh, who's a boy? Who's, who's a boy? Who's a man? Yeah, but listen, um, yeah, uh, when in Rome, do what the Romans do, right? Yeah. Exactly, man. Now we start the podcast. Yeah, man, so look, like, I'm a question. Sounds like an interviewer. No, one, one thing I don't want to be uh, going through is an interview. Okay. And funny, they all say that. Fresh said the same thing, right? But the thing is, we're all human. You're a human. You're in a new space. And we are curious, and there's questions we're going to ask yeah. now and then. So, But we'll do the show. But now and then, we'll obviously ask these questions. No, let's do it now, since you're in the mood, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm a puff day. No, no, wait, in the so mood. Please explain Man, this puff day. day. Yeah, play, explain. Yeah, you haven't asked why I'm calling you puff no, day. No, I'm, I'm still waiting. It's like a, a punchline. The punchline is still No, coming. there's no punchline. There's no punch. Dog. Yeah. So, you feel like that. You too much to feel. But, but, hi. I don't feel it. Mara, his makeup artist is here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. What's with that, no, 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 dog? Wrong. You know he's got makeup on. What's the makeup artist? Oh, she's not here. She's not here. Hey, what's up with the makeup? Dog, it's a podcast, so, man. We don't yeah, do we, makeup here. We don't do makeup here. Nigga, I'm fucking professional. <sighs> and if Mara, you, shoot, your forehead is still shining. Because that's that's my future, dog. No. <laughs> it stays shining. Your forehead. <laughs> oh, Hi, it's bright. You just stay shining. You know what I mean? Like, I've been in the yeah. game for how long with this forehead? Nah, oh. man. No, 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 no makeup hair, bro. No, but here's the thing. I'm a professional, dog. Dog, it's dog. Have you seen? Dude, look at us. We are, we're here every day. No makeup. Makeup, dog. This is, this is how we rock every day. Yeah. Honestly. No, but but ghosts. Okay, but you what, what? but you've got a lot of you makeup got, on. You've, you've got, got the worst fist, makeup, you, actually. You got fist proof makeup on, yes. baby girl. Uh -huh. You've got uh -huh. the worst makeup. No, 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 I'm a girl. I'm not a girl. Ah, boom. You've got the worst makeup right now. So you can't say shit. No. Because you're a ghost and you always have makeup. Okay, no. not always, but sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Do. No, we shot early today. I'm going to meet up with my girls. So I'm like, you know, I was just getting ready for the evening. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. I'm ready for the evening. Are you after. getting ready for the podcast? For the makeup? podcast. Yeah. 
You guys should be happy that I've respected this platform. Whoa! You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys should be saying, fuck it. Give me cap, give me cap. He brought his own makeup artist, bah. right? To have makeup done on this fucking show, right? You and know, here I am. You know, you should present my guy and go, bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> 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 You don't need makeup, man, on the podcast. We don't, don't do worry. makeup here. Yeah, fuck it, I did it. Yeah, next time, no makeup, man, you know? Yeah. Because, you know what, I do my own thing. When you stand in for Seoul, you are not have, you don't yes, have to Yes, when you're in Mac through. to the show, you yeah. only... No, and I'll still do makeup, because I always do my own thing. Is it? That, that's been my, my, my general approach to my career. I just do my own thing. Wow. That's it. So if it means i got to wear makeup on this fucking show, that's what I'm going to do. So are you the guy that goes and gets a manicure as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah are yeah, you yeah. a metrosexual yeah, kind nails. of nails? Yeah, I do, I do my nails. Oh. Okay. Because, I mean, come on. I mean, I can remember, you remember, you've always done your you know, I mean, if you look at Saul's fingers, for example. I'm real, like, man. Hey, so, I'm real. No, no, they don't exist. You know, and, and, and then you ask those still fingers for to the nail. And nails to grow. You see, and then you're going to ask him to mix your drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm real. And you I know mix, what I mean? And I mix the best drinks. And the spice, you know. <laughs> and the spice like, poop. <laughs> You get me here, I you are saying. Saul, no. so you nailed it. Like, so you nailed it. Oh, you nailed Saul, it. So no. <laughs> no, but I do take care of myself. You have to. You yes, have to. it is. Um, for obvious reasons, right? I mean, you can't, you can't be talking to people, right? Talking to, you know, corporates, business people, whoever. And then there you've got like muck under your nails. But they know your ability. Your ability is not your nails. Your ability is what you're doing. Are you your men judged the same service. way as women? That's my thing now. Is, is it now that you men are judged the same way as women? I think women are always judged. Yeah. And still harshly more than men. True. For instance, if, if, if a woman rocks up at work and she doesn't have her makeup on, it's a big deal. It's a huge deal for Are you for real? Yeah. What work is... 947 in Jada? No, not, not just 947. <laughs> what, what, what anywhere. Is that? Anywhere. Ask any woman. No, no everywhere any woman. except the podcast. Right? woman without makeup. Like, she, she, Ghost is wearing makeup now. Yeah, today. You she are lucky. She's going to see her friends. Yeah, but, but why can't you just see her friends without makeup? That, that's pressure upon them. You no, see, but no, that's just, no, 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 yeah, but no, no, that's not work environment. No, but... That's, in, yes. But it's a general You guys are societal amongst yourself even. Pressure. Men don't expect women to have. Do you expect a woman to have makeup at all times? No, no. I don't, I don't like have women. that expectation. I don't no. like women with makeup. I, yeah, but it. that's a lie, so yeah, No, mean, no, no. I you mean, really, you're not, you're do, you really do you want no. to get into it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, no, no, I'm ready. I'm no. ready. Wait, so you men, you men generally will say that, no, I don't like women with makeup. But the moment she has makeup, you acknowledge, like, oh, you look cute today. Did I say you look cute today? You did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you didn't. You but, owe me a compliment, But do I tell you sometimes you look good and it's the days you don't have makeup? Yeah, and no, you do. Maybe that's just my preference. Yes. But I'm legit like And that. I look good without makeup. Even her, she, the day the she puts a lot of makeup, I'll never say, you look great. <laughs> that's fake checker. Yeah, fake checker. I'll never say, you look great. But when you look, you have enough. Why, men was, shine, why no, are man. you exposing us in front of more Men please. shine out in fucking, I'm an oil, like I'm a skin oil, I'm a tissue oil. I'm going to make up. That's I'm a foundation. Like, that's not about tissue oil. Beautiful. Oh. No, it's not from the foundation is puffy. In terms of more flavor. <laughs> <laughs> like you, know, oh man, but, you must but, always have but, a solid foundation. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but that's maybe maybe it's just my preference. It's fine. <laughs> no, because here's the thing, right? There's, there's this general uh, perception, especially and, and for some in, in some instances, I think it's people just putting pressure on themselves, right? And I think social media yeah. has just made things worse. Wait, everybody, so the show's falling apart now. Yeah, the show's falling apart. Hey, Fana, most ancestors don't like you. They were like, he's lying, they do have beef. He's lying, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, Max ancestors, they are now fighting. <laughs> Max ancestors are like, ah, he's lying, they, they have beef. Why, why, this thing has never fallen, today yeah. it's falling. Yeah, you see, that's what happens. Max see, ancestors I'm, are fighting. No, no, uh, uh, my ancestors are strong. Oh, now we're in those. Oh, strong, man. We're in those. Man, man, in general, we're going to do. We're going to do very hard things. We're going to do very hard things. We're going to do very hard things. Man, in general, we're going to do very hard things. 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 We're going to do Ooh, yeah. What the best throne? So, so I think, <laughs> so I think social media has just really fucked it up for a lot of people. Where there's this expectation that you must always look Insta ready, 
you know, TikTok ready. And I think it's it's hitting ladies hard because, I mean, I know many women who have complained that, oh, I don't have my makeup on, so we can't go to a certain place because I don't have makeup on. I'm like, but you look just fine. Half the time, that actually bro. look good. Uh, bro, half the time, no, look no, no. Good without makeup. Bro, more than half the time. And correct me because we've got three women in here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I don't want it to be like a, a masculine op- opinion. Yeah. M- for me, more than half the time, and you guys maybe will not believe it, but a lot of you look better. Nikezile, Nikobisile. He may come. You know, maybe needs needs and there's something, but without the makeup, you look way better. Cause when the makeup, you guys want to change. No, but honestly, the way you you're not even accentuating your features. Mm-hmm. You are creating features, and then go about umuni mutanga mas. I'm like, I can't even. I can barely. What you fish man? Just soak my mind. Normally, you guys wait, wait, wait. And I'm like, before Dudu says something, Nick, Dudu is here as well. So, see, but you got makeup and it's it. She looks amazing because it accentuates. Into that. Velo, no time to do to velo. See, I will do to. You smile. Mom, 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 and your heart is like tutu. 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 Penuga. Shout Penuga, boy. Guys, this thing no guys, and my woman watches the show. Don't do that, please. She was trying to shake you. So I wanted. I'm unshakable. I wanted to say that with the makeup thing, right? Um, It is societal pressure, but also there's been studies that show that. When you show up in a workplace, like in a corporate space, um, people take you more seriously when you have your makeup on. So if you rock up with your natural hair and no makeup on your face, <coughs> usually people tend to like overlook you. However, I think there's something you said when you said a lot of ladies look better without makeup. I also feel the same way about myself. I don't even know how to put on makeup properly. You know, Thank like you. the, oh, the that's so of the sexy. nose. I don't know how to do it, but I believe that when I'm not... Do, do you have a pointy nose already? <laughs> She's making a point. <laughs> Let her make her point. I'm trying to make a point. Who says yes. <laughs> I'm a car. The car of wood. The car of wood. Marunga too much. Yeah, but yeah, I was just trying to say that a lot of us do realize that we look good without makeup on, but because of the societal standards, you know, yeah. wow. you gotta cover up here yeah. and there, yeah. you know. So you guys know it, you it look does. good. Yeah. Because you guys so. look amazing, Jay. Yeah. When fuck out my tissue oil, look lower. Yeah. Oh. I'm like, yo, and then who's in the pale? Like, you just, we go back to you. And it's like, <laughs> and you know what? Oh, what the yes, so, 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 you know, 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 you People under pressure. Oh, right? so you see that Let, bell? That, there was a bell right yeah. now. That's fact check out oh, yes. who has a fact to announce. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, shit. I love this. Did you just make up a fact? Yeah, there's a fact. A make, a I make didn't up make fact. up a fact. She stated that. Oh, there's a makeup fact. There's a makeup fact, oh. yes. She stated that um, it's been proven scientifically that when women wear makeup at workplaces, they're taken serious. It's actually the latter. It's different. It's opposite. Basically, women are not taken seriously or seen as competent when they have makeup on at um, professional establishments. Yeah. And who, oh, and who came, who no, came no, up with no, this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who I'm came, who look, came up with that? Makeup, I'm seven Z, and I seven Z. You got any makeup, I'm seven Z, and I seven Z. Well, do, I'm speaking for a lot of corporate girls. They can back this up. Even in the comment section, they really can. When you show up in the workplace with your natural hair, in your natural state, you not you don't look professional. And I, I'm not agreeing with that because you can look professional with your afro and your dreadlocks and put on some Vaseline on your lips and look good. However, I think what she's stating is the full face beat as if you're going on a, like, you know, a huge photo shoot, red lips, big, bold eyebrows, thick lashes, and, 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 and you know, then you don't look professional. How can I help? 
Yeah. My Siri's fucking. Do you have a nose beats? Do you have a face beats, Siri? Your nose is fucking poking itself. My Siri's older than that. Sorry. Yeah. So what she's saying, I, I do get what she means, and they're talking about the look where you seem as if you're going on a photo shoot, and you know, oh, you're going to the club. Oh, you're going to the club. That look obviously does not look professional. But a lot of women put on a bit of foundation, tint your eyebrows put on, you know, light lashes <laughs> and a bit of lipstick. That's something that they right. do, you know. I just think, you know, people need to also have the, the freedom to just be wherever and however they want to be. Yeah. So, for mm. instance, if you want to wear makeup, it's fine. Just do it for whatever the reason, whether yeah. you're covering scars, whether you want to look hotter, just do it. Okay. Because this thing of prescribing, whatever, it's nice to get insight as to you know, what goes into people's minds yeah. and hearts as far as this whole makeup thing is concerned. I mean, even guys wear makeup. And I'm not talking about like for a shoot like well, totally right No, now. you're talking about <laughs> yourself. Yeah. Yes. Each <laughs> more flavor. Who, who wear makeup? Yeah. Like, uh, what you know, the they're going to hang out at a, at a club or restaurant. Yeah. Dudes, are we uh, in makeup to uh, hang hey, out? Hey, no. Dog, we must I bring you, you back. Yeah. Uh, we must bring you back. You must chill with Because you know what? At the end of the day, people just choose to be however they want to be. So the guys, so where Let's get you a job in the podcast. So you know, niggas, who put makeup on. So the guys who used to work with the Metro can't go out naked. No man, no man. <laughs> when you when, when, when you when you are, 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 are hanging out with Caesar in the morning, for example. He doesn't have makeup right? on. Right? How, how do we know that? How do we know that? <laughs> how do we know that? Caesar, <laughs> makeup. Hey, yo, Caesar. You got some makeup on. There's no way a guy can be that light. I know. <laughs> Seaswood. Uh, they say you're not going to be this. Nah, Seaswood, you never. Seaswood. Oh. Seaswood is a Zulu guy at heart. Like, it's a proper hardcore Zulu guy. Yeah, you but listen. Put, and, also, and also, stop stop judging niggas who wear makeup also. Because some of those guys sign your checks. Niggas who wear makeup. They you know sign your... Some of those guys sign your checks, dog. Look, put some respect on that shit. No, 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 no. Do, do you put makeup on? No, only for not, shoots. Only for shoots. Are you sure? Not yeah. for the day. No, 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 no. No. Because you, I don't, I don't like makeup. You're saying niggas are putting makeup for the day. Yeah. And it's I what get, they want to do. Niggas on camera. It's what they want to do. Robert Marawa got to shoot or whatever <laughs> sharp. But it's what they want to do. Oaks put makeup to hang out with other niggas. Yeah. Or whoever. Ah. Just to be. Just to be. <sighs> Guys, sometimes it's actually not that deep. It's literally just people want to look and it's feel. It's just good. foundational. And this is something <laughs> I've learned as well. Maybe when I was a, a young boy, socialized, you know, in, in a certain way, I'd also be like, yeah, why are niggas putting makeup on? But I've just come to learn that people just want to be however they want to be. You saw niggas put makeup on you as a young boy? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> the first time okay. I came across men putting makeup on was in the industry. Like, yeah. literally, but that's like, what I'm saying. For cameras. That growing up, if I'd seen that as a youngster, I'd probably also be like, why are guys wearing makeup? But I've come to learn but I, through my experiences in the industry... And also just understanding life and actually learning and listening that, yeah, there are people who just want to wear makeup because they feel like wearing makeup. Women, I get it. And men. Fact so, checker, if your boyfriend put on makeup to go to the to work. Oh, he does. And I his get nails. a man doing his nails. That's, but that's the people thing. Put so nail polish on and exactly. whatever, like you know. At first, remember how we frowned upon. Oh my God, guys are also doing their nails. Now it's normal. Exactly. All men just do their nails, and it's okay. So I think maybe we're getting to the next level where we just have to accept. Like, okay, cool. So you're okay with Naga putting on makeup to go for a, a board meeting? Oh, jeez. I'll be like, no, baby, you don't need it. Like, leave your makeup out. So that's oh, hypocritical. Yes. No, but hang on, hang on. If if he's doing a photo shoot with his, uh, that's different. No, no, but this is what I'm, I'm saying. Yeah, that's. Day different. Yeah. But I'm saying I'm saying to you, Saul, that whether it's professionally or whether it's in, in whatever social context, people can wear makeup. And we just need to stop making a big deal out of it. Honestly. Wear your makeup. All right. My guy. <laughs> No. It's okay. Please. It's okay. Right. It's okay. Yeah, but I guess it's uh, yeah. We the, the guys. The world is evolving, and it's yeah. okay. Anyway, I didn't come here to talk about makeup, by the way. Yeah. So um, let's so, start the podcast, actually. Yeah, fuck it. Let's start the podcast. Oh, fine. So, um, so I know that you have a bunch of questions that you want to ask me, and I also know that Ghost has a couple of things that we might want to chat about. Uh, I got a script, by the way. Which, I mean, I'm just like, at least they have a script. <laughs> <laughs> at least, 
It's, it's not a script. Hey, man, mind you, it's not a script. There are certain things that need to be said on the podcast. It's not a script. The podcast is never scripted. Mm. No, no, it's fine. Look, Salah, I mean, I'm pretty script. Okay. Okay, so let me start. Let me start with the first script. This is this is a live read. Oh, right? no. yes. Yeah. See, Mac and doesn't say it's a live. You just read it. I didn't. I didn't. You cap, even on radio. You're on radio. You don't go. Ah, oh, that was 20 no, but, in with uh, No, but I didn't come here to read Can you guitar. feel this the heat? <laughs> no, I, you just read it I didn't come here to read live reads I do enough of that on the radio No, oh. because we've got clients and stuff Yeah, we've but because, clients. you know, you got we've clients We've got money up okay. in here yeah. you know, There's a lot us. too much of that on 947 Yeah, oh. you know, it's, 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 you know, we're a commercial radio station, yeah, so? You know, you're not, you Metro's know what that means? a commercial station as no, well but, No, but 947 is a commercial radio station Oh, right. so but we'll get Metro we'll get to that as commercial. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> Metro Metro is an NGO. <laughs> I, can't, I can't talk about where I'm not. The, the, the CEO puts on foundation there because <laughs> uh, because it's a foundation. <laughs> I, I can't talk about where I'm not at right now. Oh. So I won't do that. I can only talk about <laughs> where I work right now. And like I'm saying, I didn't come here to do fucking live reads. Right. But it's fine. Let me let me let me quickly do this live read. So this is Easy Bet, okay? Introducing Easy Bet, the ultimate game changer in sports betting and online gaming. Now they're here to make betting as smooth as Ichi's copy a razor. Wow. Wow. That's yeah, bold razor. of them. How Yo. bold of them? <laughs> huh? bold of, that's, that's, that's bold, bold. of them. Oh. That's bold. With their customer first approach, Easy Bet delivers mind blowing bonuses like 50 Rand sign up bonus, a 150% first deposit match, and even a 15% weekly cashback on your losing bets. Oh. Do you oh. get it? Oh. 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 You get I, it? I don't understand any of that fucking shit. You get it? But, bonus. But it's okay. Because in Pang, yeah, bonus. No, but it gets even more. <laughs> <laughs> it gets even better. And there's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> with tons of deposit options and lightning fast withdrawals, they also offer WhatsApp support that's quicker than a taxi hitting the Yolo Lane in peak hour. Ah, yo, oh, yes. Yo, yes. Yo, Wait, yo, couldn't even take smoke. Couldn't even take smoke. And they have a... 2005. Yeah? Yeah. Exactly. Relate. Before I joined YFM. <laughs> And they have a data-free app so that you don't need to worry about your one-day bundles running out like Abo Sol. Uh, so when it's time to Imagine. bet, remember Easy Bet, right? Don't forget to use the promo. There's a promo code. There's a promo yeah, code. Yeah, there is. And you guys have promo code. I get your command. Who says dates? Right? The promo code is MACG50 during registration to grab a 50 rand sign-up bonus and some extra bonus spins. So find the link in the description. So the promo code is MACG50. Yeah, MACG50. That's the Dope. promo code. Yeah. Easy bits, man. Easy yeah, bits. Easy bits. So yeah. There we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, so let's, let's get into the rest of the show. Um, I'm happy to take questions if you want, since you are eager. Dallas Muzile on the Dile. Sounds like Kumbula Spoos. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Sounds like Kumbula Spoos. That's fine. So, Ghost Lady, what other things are happening out there that you um, have picked up? I, I mean, there are a lot of stories. There's I mean, a lot of stories, guys. I think what has been trending the whole week, or at least what picked up in the end of the week, is about Ocean Gates, the submarine, the submersible. Like, guys. What a huge story. Yeah, huge. Uh, obviously tragic at the end because yep, it's, yep. it's quite clear that all the occupants died and that thing imploded. And I mean, I don't know how much testing went into making sure that that shit ain't going to happen. But apparently there was a lot of stuff that wasn't done before they went in there to actually make sure that they're going to come out alive. But that's all kind of out there. I'm just thinking, you know, I grew up in the hood. And you know what we do with our old geezers? You know what hey. we do with our old geezers? Because that 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 submers- that's if that's if our old geezers are around. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us have single parents. Because that submarine <laughs> that submarine geezers aren't around. <laughs> that submarine looks like a geezer, right? Let's be honest. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know what we do with our old yeah. geezers? We turn them into price stands. Cut them in half. And right, right? And it becomes a price tag. Are you for wait? So this is the f- my mind is blowing right now. This is so, the first time I learned this. I was really? two years old. Wow. I'm a geezer. Get turned to price tags. A geezer. Nice. Yep. I didn't know as well. So I don't understand why people have decided that geezers can also go to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> and that's that's not for us. And and you know what? People who design the stuff are way cleverer than us. So oh, definitely. I don't There's even a- think I'm in any position to criticize any exploration because I didn't learn and study. Guys, there's a lot of technology that goes into that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even for all those individuals, they paid almost half a million rand. That doesn't mean shit. Or just even more. That doesn't mean shit. I think uh, it was two hundred fifty thousand dollars each. Dollars, which Look, yeah? in rents is about how, it's, it's, it's how much is it in rents? Not a half a million, it's five million. Sorry, it's five million. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. It's no, almost no, no, five no, no, million. No, 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 guys. How much they paid for me is it is insignificant because they lost their lives. Because if I scam you to buy something that is worth nothing, but I scam you and I make you believe you can pay one million rands for it, it doesn't mean the fact that you paid one million rand for it is worth paying for. Mm. Number one. Number two, like why is it such a tragedy? Because if people, a lot more people die at sea almost every day or every week. The other month, there were, there were people by the Mediterranean Sea in Greece or somewhere around there trying to enter the country. Italy. They were it, trying to enter Italy. Yes, because they are I think about seven, country. Yeah, seven, Thank Libyan. You. It's Thank Libyan you. migrants On a who are proper fleeing. Boat. Fishing boats. On a proper fishing boat oh that has goodness. done many trips. They die. It's not news. Because and this they are time, poor, broke people who are going to become a burden to another country, country. who are trying to find a safe haven. Yeah. It's not news. Now we've got five fucking billionaires, spoiled brats, who want to go down to the fucking bottom of the ocean to see Titanic, yeah. which, mind you, people died. Not willingly. They didn't donate to die. They were making a transatlantic trip on the Titanic, which was the biggest best, safest boat. Yep. They were looking forward to seeing loved ones, family and stuff. And we neglect all of that. And I want, it's a tourist attraction. People are dead. Isn't it's it? the same shit with archaeologists going to Egypt, trying to exhume pharaohs. How are you going to go to Egypt to the pyramids to try to exhume the remains of a king? Yeah, but here's the thing, people right? People die. Respect for the dead, I think number you, one. You can ask many questions at the same time. Yeah. And, and there are people who have raised that concern. But yeah. I think... You know, two things can be can be right at the same time as yeah. well. And the bottom true, line is that, true. you know, death is death. You know what I mean? And it can't be right that people died in a submarine that imploded and that Brilliant migrants and, and that migrants died um on a fishing boat. Trying so, to survive. Trying to survive. Trying to survive. Brilliant. So trying so, to survive so, versus trying to But but we see. can't also get into yeah, but what Excuse about you know this what about is Titanic? You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, that's how I look at things. I believe that two things can be true at the same time. And you can look at things for its own merit yeah. without saying, no, but the other one didn't matter. Mm. If it matters to you, right, that there were migrants that died on a fishing boat, that's fine. Talk about and that. And it can also matter that five people died in a submarine <laughs> while trying to check out the Titanic. It always dies. I mean, it always Aye, matters. Bo. No, it always matters. Aye, man. Aye, so... Aye, man. I thought you were pushing that you are clever here. <laughs> I, oh, am I clever? <laughs> hey man, I didn't know I was clever till today. Am I clever? Am I clever? <laughs> am I clever? Is that a, is, is it another scam? You're the clever one here. <laughs> am I? Yeah. Oh damn, I didn't know. Hey, I was today. I was today old when I found out. No, but to me the thing is, some things can be said, but some are sadder than others. And it is sad that people lost their lives, number one, right? Number two, it's But in both instances, so people look, everyone right. lost their lives. Yes. So, so, but, so which but, is sadder but, than others? So, I will explain. Okay. Yeah, because I, I'm, I'm no, waiting no, no, to hear which, de de which, which death is... Pendula. 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 It's not deadest. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah. Right? Who, who's more deadest? <laughs> no, it's not about more deadest. It's, yeah, we've got people, innocent people. Bazaliwe, unfortunately, in the wrong country, maybe there's war, economic conditions are tough or whatever. They're trying to find a better life, right? They want to go to a different country. They don't get onto a makeshift, submersive, whatever. They got onto a boat. And get yeah, baning. So maybe there'll be more people than the boat can take. Just to throw in, just to make it. No, make hold on. Think ahead there. You wanted me to explain. Mm -hmm. They tried to find refuge in a different country mm -hmm. for survival. Yeah. Some of them, it's the first time at the ocean. As unforgiving and as violent, the and ocean paid, is very and violent. And they paid mind roughly you. about five thousand dollars just to, for this trip. Exactly, story, which some yeah. of them it's their life savings. Yeah. Then you got these billionaires who didn't pay five thousand dollars, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which is four point something million, million rands, rands yeah. and it's peanuts to them mm. just to go four thousand meters into the ocean to see a place where people died. There's no need for that. And secondly, they get into a thing, a contraption that is controlled by a PlayStation joystick. A joystick, Con yep. Connected by Bluetooth. Hey. 
which they can pass on to I one another. I have problems connecting to my own Bluetooth speaker <laughs> in the bedroom, <laughs> in my bathroom. Ah, and ah, I'm like, ah, I've got so many Bluetooth devices there. Which one do I connect to? My woman is trying to connect. I'm trying to connect. And they put their lives in this thing. Mm. Billionaires. In a giza. Mind you, the, the, exactly. the, the pressure chamber. Mind you, the deeper you go down. Ew. The average military, South Africa, the South African military probably does not even have a, 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 a submarine that can go down yeah. 4,000 4, meters deep, mm-hmm. right? Mind you, any other country. Mm. And these guys then got NASA to devise the pressure uh, a capsule. That ocean gauge. Right? But everything else they made themselves. Shh. At some point, they said that they got the materials from here and here. Then they got a PlayStation thing, converted it. And you trust your life as a billionaire to go down 4,000 meters deep. Mm. And not a lot of uh, uh, companies have the, 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 the devices or submarines or submersives to go down there. So to me, it's like, come on, you're rich enough to have even delegated someone to research if it's safe for you to do that. And mind you, the glass. So these guys were not going to witness the ship themselves, right? A lot of them were going to see it on screen, most part of it anyway. The glass that they have yeah. in the, the, the submersive is built to go down, like I think 1,300 meters down, mm. right? But it has made it to 4,000 meters before yep. and it's been reused. So it took some abuse. By the time that that Titan, it's called the Titan. The that Titan. Because yeah. I've got a lot of these submersives, that particular company, yeah. right? It's gone down a few times and then now they're using it again to go down there 4,000 meters below, like at, at the bed of the Atlantic Sea. Mm. So to me, it's like negligence. And these guys are rich. They could have avoided all of that negligence. The poor people are trying to seek refuge, taking their life savings to go to a different country who die hundreds a month at ocean. That is, it's never reported common. on. Yeah. So to me, it's not like saying their lives are not as important, but it's saying, how come the media does not? It's the same thing. When people die in Africa, the media, it's not a big thing. And then... When there's something happening in Paris, then we're all we're all gonna hashtag I'm with Paris or what's that Charlie J Sweet Charlie or whatever. But when Africans die, it's like their lives don't matter much. Just like now, poor people's lives don't matter as much as the rich people's lives do. I know all lives matter, but now it's a big thing. Rich people who could have been anywhere in the world but four thousand feet in the sea. They could have been anywhere in the world. <laughs> all, all, all I'm getting out of, out of everything <laughs> they you been, said. They could have been Mark Shuttleworth. They could have been at the moon. Yeah, but all, but they all decided yeah. to go but down a tragedy, to the... But a tragedy oh. can happen anywhere though, Saul. That's no, I mean, I don't feel yeah, much. And, I don't allow it getting much. All I'm getting from Saul is that... Whining <laughs> That's all I'm getting from this guy. Whining <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's all I'm getting from him. <laughs> <laughs> With everything he said, whatever. Oh, I, I hear <laughs> all of that. <laughs> hear all the time. To be but here. The, it, Saul's biggest issue is yeah. that you're loaded. And there you are, fucking around to find out. And you found out. And you found and out. And they found out. Because the more you fuck around, you'll find the out. The more you find out. And they found out. And normally. So what more? Dude, there's a one hour, 20 minute video clip of a, a, an actual camera going into meandering into the Titanic yeah. at the bottom of the Atlantic Sea. You see everything. No pun intended. <laughs> and then <laughs> <laughs> you want to go and see the same visual on a screen in a it, submersive. Because it's different, so. Yeah. Yeah, no. And, and here's the thing, right? So I think that, yeah, true you know, maybe people who are not part of that world of exploration would have a different view to people who are in it, who have been doing it for many, many years, Thank right? you. And there are people who want to find out what's well, at the very, bottom of the ocean. They're very much They're obsessed about out. this. There, there are people who want to see what happens when you go to space in, in, in whatever ship. There are people who want to find out when you, when you summit Everest, what the fuck is on top of that mountain? You know what I'm saying? So there, there's many reasons why people explore. And maybe it's, it's trying to get into the world of the explorer to say, you know, why the fuck would you want to do that? Why would you find something like that interesting? Otherwise, you know, what's the point? I've experience the climax of the summit. Where? Which summit? The one there by... Uh, uh, me. No, uh, no, no, no. Oh, 
<laughs> he ain't talking about no mountain. Do you rest? He heard Summit. He heard Summit. He was like, Summit. He's not talking about the mountains. Yeah, she said. Do you ever rest? I'm not. No, I'm talking about the truck. He's talking about the poles. He heard Summit and he fucking, he was like, better my leave. Yeah, exactly. I meant, I meant the Drakensberg, Drakensberg Mountains. Do you even know Drakensberg Mountains? Uh, or twerk, 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 that's a kind of. <laughs> have you ever been to the Drakensberg Mountains? I have. Or got the summit No, no, no. I'm, 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 I went on a camp. Well, we went to good schools. We went on a camp for like four days in the Drakensberg. What good school did you go to? Mm-hmm. When I was, and this was even primary. I've actually also been to the uh, Drakensberg on a school trip. School trip. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, we went to actual schools. Bro. Yeah, like, you went yeah, to real you, school. Yeah. You went to North, um, North Cliff. That was high school. Oh, yeah, primary? Uh, Cliffview Primary. Oh, yeah, you're a Tandabu Cliff boy. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how does Harry Cliff end? didn't hire you? Because, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I was already on the mainstream, dog. <laughs> he couldn't afford you. Uh, he, he couldn't afford me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, when you, you know, it's crazy because when you've been doing primetime radio for, for so long, it's like, how much longer should I still be doing primetime radio? It's actually crazy. To start a podcast, man, the freedom is here. You can feel it. I'm sure yeah. you can feel it. I'm, so are you, just are you to say shit, fucking bites? have gin. Come on, man. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> How many times? We don't even say shit. We don't swear a lot. It's just no. to talk. There's no live read. There's no news in front of you. There's n- not a lot of things, you know? Yeah, I do. I do radio is beautiful. I love radio. Don't get me. But like the freedom, man. I experienced. How are you feeling so far? Best I feel good. And I, and I must be honest. I think podcasting is, is, is a brilliant platform. It, it is. It really is. There's no, I don't think that's a debate anymore. Mm-hmm. It's not you even know? a debate. Yeah. The, the debate True. now is, you know, how do I come up with content that's interesting for other people, right? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and it's not even for... You know what I love about podcasting also? Is that you don't have to be a superstar, right, to have nope. a podcast. No. Nope. You can literally be anybody. Because the superstars yep. try and they fail. How many local... <gasps> where's the last podcast? Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. The other guy, the rapper. No, but how much? So many people with podcasts. No, but... But but are, are, you, are you saying not a superstar? Failed. So you saying that Les is no longer doing the Dineo. podcast? No, he is, but it, I'm not hearing it in the podcast. Because I enjoyed I enjoyed the the I think the one ep that I saw. I really enjoyed it. The problem is consistency. The and consistency. sometimes the guys do really they strike gold with one episode, but it's consistency. Consistency. And the two is consistency. Drop. If you're gonna say you're gonna drop one episode every week, drop, drop. every one every yeah. month, drop. drop. So I, I think podcasting is brilliant, and I think it's given a lot of people who didn't have a voice because they couldn't get on radio or TV or anywhere else an opportunity to do their thing. And I think it's brilliant. And I think people are spoiled for choice in terms of content. Mm. Yeah, and bro. You can't, you can't tell people how to consume stuff. They'll decide for themselves. True, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the bottom line. But, you know, people always talk about like, oh, radio, radio's dead, radio's dead. Nah. And, you know what I mean? Radio's and I'm like, nah. I think, um, you know, I, I mean, I've seen people say Radio that. Radio is free. It's like SABC. Like it can't die. It's like oxygen. Well, it shouldn't die. It's like oxygen. SABC okay, shouldn't die. Okay, let's see because your film is playing, Kaya 959 is playing, Ungena Shop 947 is playing. Exactly. It's, it's there, it's in your ear. Yeah. You know, you can't control it, you can't choose it, it chooses you. Yep. It's just there. But you know, you speak of consistency. If there's one thing that radio will teach you is consistency. Because yes, you know, I mean, for instance, I've been on radio every day since I started in this industry. I started on, on midnight at Y, midnight to three, talking about sex and everything. At midnight there. Nice. Monday to Friday, right? How was that like? It was cool. And Did you have a blowjob on the air? No, that's the only thing I couldn't do. Oh. I never I just, And you could have. have I didn't, I didn't do that show. Over. You didn't I didn't do it. that show for long enough. It oh. must have been maybe for 11 months and then they moved me to like an evening slot. Um, I see quite cool. door, yeah. yeah, you know, because we just keep moving, dog. <laughs> but the point is, when you're on radio every day, for five days a week, every day, for 17 years, I mean, you got to have a fuckload of consistency, right? And I think if there's one thing that radio teaches you, it's consistency. And when you're consistent doing the same thing with the utmost amount of brilliance, more often than not, then you're going to last in whatever you do. Some people don't last. Five years, done. Done. Because they're not consistent, because they don't perfect what they do. Me, I was at the White Academy three months. I had so much porn. So I was lasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're never lasting. <laughs> This is your matter. Don't move for us. No, I'm not proud. We're too last team. Hey, last time, son. Shout and you know, out, when bro. it gets to a point um, in, because consistency gives you longevity. Yeah. And then 
in that longevity, you have staying power. And when you have staying power, you yeah. have choice. Yeah. You can choose where you want to work. Like choosing to go to 947. Because I've done pretty much Wait, wait, was show. it a choice or it was that's the only offer I got? It was a choice. Oh. And if it was a you, choice. And you've got so, to rock the coast you, So you mean okay, wait, <laughs> you don't so need Metro <laughs> <laughs> Did we even have choice at the time? We did. Hey. I think so. Hey, I hope. Been around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What were the public condoms before then? Yeah, what no, actually it was. Was it trust? Or was it trust? Or? No trust. Ah, but what condomized in high school? <laughs> Even high school, like I was in high school. Hey, these are the people who did these condemnations in high school. <laughs> high school, we're not trust. We were not condemnations in high school. In high school, I was not. We were not having sex in high school. Oh, oh that's good. good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, good. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> good. Oh. Yeah. In high school, oh, good. imagine. Yeah, and no, we need we need to have more young people delaying sex because and I said it's causing before. problems. Yeah. Yeah, 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 guys, there's no reason you must be having sex when you're 12, when you're yeah, yeah, 14, yeah. Yo. 15, 16, 17, even 18. It's sex, guys. You're gonna live till you're fifty. You're gonna have and it's years still of, the same. If you start sex at twenty, you'll have sex for thirty years. And it's the same thing. And that's if you die from diabetes at fifty. <laughs> but if you are healthy, you'll have sex for fifty years. You'll die at seventy. That's a lot of sex with a lot of people. And until it becomes one same. person. It, it's sex is the same, right? Don't you feel like it? No, 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 no. I sex I find. Oh, no. sex. It can never be. Do-do. Well, come. <laughs> do this with the one who's Sex is not the same, guys. Person. Sex is not the same. Let's be honest. There's so just what, what, people what, what, you connect what, with. What, what, what do you mean by that? So that is not. There's the just same. people you connect with. Like mm. it's sex. When I have a it's sex. Mm-hmm. Or have a sex. The when you move around is thirty minutes. Or have a sex. The when you move around is ten minutes. Connection, Baba. Hi. So, mm. calling so, so, you sex, we feel like it's inky lose. You feel like it's like, whoa, you are levitating. You can hear God breathing down your back. Unkulu, unkulu. Don't put kulu, kulu into this. <laughs> and you forget about this world. Oh. And then there's sex, yeah, which is sex. You know, then there's sex, which is, whoa. It's wapa, wapa. So, so then, ghost, what, what about you? I mean, like, what. Do you also go to heaven? Well, I am a married woman who's yeah, no, constantly but... in heaven. Oh, good. good yes. Good, good. I stay in heaven with my husband. Well, your husband is from Mpumalanga, uh, God's window. <laughs> so, we are born in Uncle Uncle, like the hey, hey, <laughs> location, <laughs> Sila. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think it's it's true, man. You know, and and there's souls that mix as well, right? And when there's souls involved in this sexual thing, then it's another game altogether. And it's it's not always just physical. How's marriage been, man? You've been married for three years or four yeah, years now. Hey, no, I like you the segue. I like the segue. Yeah? I'm just a con. I am good. You know, I'm just a con. I'm good. You know. Yeah, no, marriage is good. I love my wife. For real. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've been with her own body for years. You know. You know where I met my wife. Undos. Yeah, undos. You know where I met my wife. The press. Ah. Give me the Nando's breast. Ah. Like, oh, dosi. The Nandos. Nandos, 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 Nandos. I met my wife at a Rock the Girls party. Oh! oh. So, 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 Max should have been your best man at your wedding. Yeah, I should have been. But, I mean, can you imagine like Gina's suit? I mean, fuck it. Oh, now. he does it. Right? No, oh, you know, right? Beautiful to see. He would have opted to play as a DJ. I exactly. think that's what yeah. he would have And after the wedding is done, like, hey, my man, I'm here to rock. It's like, guy, <laughs> we finished three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> to rock the girls. <laughs> the yeah, that's what I met my wife. We did, a, we did a Rock the Girls real. party. We did a Rock the Girls party at Bar 9. It's now called Recharge. My 2000. Oh, pardon oh, is Recharge. Yeah. Recharge is entirely corn. I've seen it. It's just it a refab. Right. Refab is Recharge. Exactly. Refab. Yeah. That's where I met her. Whoa, dog. Yeah, dog. Now, but you're a new woman. You've been solid. Like, you see, the night she's telling you about it, yeah. Mama, Mbali was there. Like, she, it's always been her. Wherever we go, it's Mbali. Oh. You're the one nigga, TJ, I've seen with one woman. Like, one. And it's like, this is my woman. And... Shout out to you, Thank man. Thank you. Thank you. But okay, but, before you go, sorry, sorry to disturb yeah. you. But you know how it's always this thing that you know you can't find a wife at the club. So would you say you Jeez. actually can find your wife in the? Oh club? yeah, because that's where I found mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, true. Every time you know, she's like, a good woman. She's, yeah, good. Exactly. she's a solid person. She's a solid human. You see? Because let's face it, different people go to clubs and stuff. So, some people go to a club and it's it's their first time in like six months. I said yeah. that. I, I 
yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also go. I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. When Max said you can't find love in Joburg, and I was like, but dude, you get really smart corporate people earning good amounts, decent, and the one time they want to yeah. go to a club, yeah. and they want to let loose, yeah. and you'll find them drunk. Yeah. But they are decent human beings. Thank you. Yeah. And and Mac is lying. He's been in love with many people that way. Mac seems like a guy who falls easily in love. He does. He no, does. does. Mac is such a free spirit. He yeah, really yeah, seems like a guy who yeah, easily falls in love. Like, yeah, with yeah, everybody. I mean, oh, yeah, no, and I mean this girl. <laughs> yeah, this girl, my man. Hey, I mean she's the one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like, you'll be like, he's the, she's the one, eh? <laughs> and that time you're like, hey, Bana, she's she's not the one. But you must <laughs> just agree, like, yeah, she's the one. Like, hey. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you just said someone who's shooting Bono no Munya last week, say, yeah, boom, and you're she's the one. But last week, Bono no Munya, I'm like, hey. <laughs> 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 well, you are one of those friends that were bad. You always give the girl an impression like, "Hey, hello, my god," <laughs> kind of vibes. Listen, um, if, if, if there's one, if there's one promise I've never made is that, and thank heavens. I mean, as guys, we always, you know, this game of courtship and umjolo is just, it's crazy, man. Mm. Yeah. And and we end up saying crazy shit. Yeah. And, and sometimes you do like crazy shit, and sometimes you make <laughs> good decisions, bad decisions, yeah. good choices, bad choices. You end up with the wrong people, the right people, etc. Nobody's perfect. They are Nobody's true, perfect. bro. We're human, man. And there's no such thing as somebody who's got like, you know, a clean record. We've all got uh, small onion skeletons. Everybody, you know what I mean? Bro, so yeah. you take you take your L's when they come and then you take your wins when they come too. True. That's just the thing. Yeah. It is what it is, man. That's true. Did you guys see the guy made it back to South Africa? Okay, you wouldn't know. Which one? The guy I spoke about, man. The guy who was in Thailand. The guy was trying to go to... Was it because no, you talking he about it? He was in uh, Cambodia. I don't know. He was in Cambodia? Yes. Um. So this guy, this nigga got an email yeah, please. promising a, him a job to Thailand. Ish. And then he said from a Gmail to scam uh, account. And then he, there he is trying to make it to Thailand. And I don't know how, but he eventually landed in, in um, Cambodia, stuck there. And I spoke about him. He was trying to... It's been months now. Yeah. So he's back in South Africa. There's a video I saw on Twitter. Um, I don't know if you can find it, Fake Checker. And you can see in the video when he comes back, like obviously at the airport, his family, relatives, whoever oh. are recording him. And oh, welcome back home. He is distraught, emotionally drained. Oh, shit. Couldn't even like forge a smile, nothing. Oh. Welcome back. I was like, oh. And you can imagine, because you get to a different country. This is, guys, Asia. You're there. And as soon as you land, you may not know it, but you're homeless. Mm. And he's been living that reality. Imagine how you could find data. Obviously, the way countries that are way more advanced in South Africa, you'll find a Wi-Fi hotspot somewhere. Oh, but obviously. What are you yeah. going to eat? Where are you going to sleep for all these months? You know, And eventually, I think he raise money because I know the embassies don't just send you back no, home no no so he's back home I spoke about this last what's week what's his name again what yeah Polani, Polani, yes uh, what's his what's his name again fact checker um, his name is Olani Fongo, and he was supposedly in Thailand for seven months. Seven months? And they were now. able to um, oh, raise 40000 for him to come back. And that's just flights. But wait, Thank isn't you. a flight to less than that? 40,000 rand. That's how much they raised. For well, what, what's the source? Um, the source is <laughs> IOL. Okay, that's oh. the independent, whatever, online, whatever. But I mean, yeah. people are people are desperate also, right? And because of that, you, you end up he was going, he, he wanted to get a job that side, right? Yeah. You know, because of the situation back home. Yeah. yeah. And and some people find themselves in Thailand and Dubai also out of desperation, but they end up doing other things there as well. Yeah. And, and it's not through a scam. <laughs> yeah. Tell us no more. <laughs> it's not through a scam at all. Guys, here, here's the bottom line, is that there's always somebody out there who's going to sell you a dream. Because they want something from you. That's just the bottom line. And if it means they've got to haul your ass to Thailand, then that's what they're going to do. That's just it. That's so, it. So we need to be like smarter and somehow listen to that inner voice. I mean, if somebody who sends you an email from a Gmail account making all sorts of promises like that, I mean, are you just going to believe it? You I shouldn't. I said the same thing. Desperation, bro. And But the thing is, we must check, guys. Anything that... 
is going to help you out. And it comes to you unsolicited via email, via whatever. Always check out its validity. Like, you see, okay, this is an international company reaching out to me in South Africa. Why are they using a Gmail? Don't they have a domain? And even if they don't, yeah. s- search the, the the company, you know? Yeah. Anything in the news about the company, what have they said, etc. Because no company that is a that can bring you from South Africa to wherever is going to use a Gmail. Yeah. You know, so sorry about his experience, but yeah. just go and check in, man, you know? Yeah, mm. but you know, I've never been to Thailand, eh? And I've, and I've had mates who have gone to Thailand. Oh. It's, it's, apparently, it's, it's cheap as fuck. If, yeah, yeah, it looks like From a South African thing. point I, of view. That's, that's yeah, strange, actually, yeah. actually, Thailand is actually the... Yeah. Well, then when I went, it was... Yeah, you've traveled relative, a lot. Relative, relatively. So what's, what's, what's the big deal with... Outside of the fact that it's cheap? Because... It's the tourism, the, guys. Thailand, like, but, yeah, but what is Phuket, it? for instance. My friends Who? went to Phuket. Phuket is just the place to My go. My friends went to Phuket. The beaches are beautiful. Yeah. It, the be- beaches. <laughs> I before saw it. <laughs> no, no. The apparently, other... the beaches, they can also... May not be bitches. <laughs> they identify as. <laughs> oh, oh. No, my, my friend said that you just need to check first. Yeah. When you, if you like look. No, I was with my husband. Wait, wait, wait. So before and you he's... go to Phuket, you need to start a check. <laughs> <laughs> so you must, your friend must go to check Republic and then. <laughs> yeah, and the just is, to check. Because quickly. it's so cheap, we were able to actually, because our stay was in Phuket. Yeah. We were able to book pl- flights Remember, like you have a holiday stay for eight um, nights in um, Phuket. I think by n- uh, day, I think uh, day three, we booked flights to Bangkok. We stayed there for like two nights and dro- and, and 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 flew back again. That's crazy. Yeah, so and it's, I'm just saying it's it's, it's very affordable. it's affordable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like yeah. it's and also one place to easy what? to afford. The, the reason a lot of people go there is they've got one of the lowest crime rates in the in the yeah, world. Yeah, it's safe, There's guys. a guy, it's um, just checked out, a fact checker, there's a guy in the new, uh, who, who got caught with a really like minuscule uh, uh, amount of weed. Yeah. And death sentence. Death? They killed him. Yeah, executed. Oh. And the thing is, when I didn't sound well, I Oh ah, so, yeah, and look, dude, I smoke weed, but up into Dubai. Yeah, we I, sure I didn't no, have weed. We had I no stayed weed there for with days us. without smoking. Yep. Because if you go to a country that you know doesn't take this shit, don't do this shit in I'm that sure country. When you enter, Simple. when you drove in here, the crew are smoking weed outside. Oh no, no, let me tell you. So yeah. um, this guy right here had like a court. I'm like, is this the right fucking production? Yeah, no, no, no. The, oh, right, the whole yes. crew is fucked. Yes. That's how you could have known it's the right production. This is the right production. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's interesting because, and this is why I enjoy... I need to take a piss, man. Sorry. This is why I enjoy traveling to places like okay. the US, for example. Oh, like you I've, to the US? Yeah, I've been to many places nice. in the US. You know what I mean? Um, also because the, the mix culturally is similar. I'm not saying it's identical, but it's similar to, to ours in that there's the racial dynamic. Oh, the only okay. difference is that, you know, majority here is black and there it's different. It's different, yeah. But I enjoy the, 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 the familiarity, right? And that's why I prefer to go to the US. But I've also been to many countries in Europe. Um, Spain, Ibiza in particular, mm-hmm. it's a dream. So there are places where you, you go because you know that somehow, you know, I'm going to have a good time here. Somehow... You can do certain things there that you could also do back at home. Yeah. But the minute I hear that you can't smoke weed in Dubai. Yeah. And that you get arrested in Thailand for having a, a joint. Then yeah. it's like, I, I don't really want to go to places like it, that. It's a no-no for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is your best country that you went to? Which is your ultimate best? Um, okay, so I'll probably say Ibiza. Oh, is it? Purely out of just the fun of it all. Do you feel like it was similar to South Africa or not? Oh, no, it's very different. Oh, oh okay. it's different. It's different. You know, like, I mean, it's a party island. It's a party mm. island. Everybody there is there to party. Uh, surprisingly, there is a church. I saw a church there, which was a big shock to me. It's like <laughs> a church in Ibiza. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's, it's so beautiful. The, 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 the nightlife culture is different. Oh. You know, people sleep during the day, you know, they, and they're out all night. All night. You know what I mean? Like, it's such a... It's such a beautiful place. Oh. And, of course, you've got nude beaches everywhere. And, and yeah, okay. And were you nude? Were uh, you? No, did no, you no. participate? No, no I, was, I was a spectator. Oh. <laughs> okay, we got the bell. 
Um, to answer Saul's question, there was one in 2018 who got um, executed for 1,017.9 grams of um, weed cannabis. And another one who was executed um, in 2021 for 299 grams of weed. This is in Thailand. Yes. In yeah, Thailand. which is not a lot. Guys. Like it's literally not even a kilogram, right? It's like you could smoke that in one breath. Ha. No, 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 I don't, smoke, I don't smoke a lot of weed, no. eh? Yeah, it. No, no, but I do, I do, I do. Oh, oh flavor! Yeah, yeah. What, what, what flavor? I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I'm, like, you see, this is, this is the problem. This is the problem, it's like, <laughs> it's like, the minute you say you smoke weed, it's like, okay, like, what's, like, people just get into it. Yeah, people think you... Sometimes it's just for fun, like, if, if a friend of mine has got a joint and I'm at a party, whatever, yeah, I'd be like, you know, can I have a joint? Yeah, yeah, no, we yeah. just cool, man. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, you know, go out of my way, like, I don't have a dealer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Like, Anybody I don't have a dealer or a dealer. <laughs> you know I mean? Bro, you always speak up. You were talking about Ibiza now. You always speak about that uh, set you played with Black Coffee. Was that your last set? He once played a drunk set that he can't even remember. Uh, back to back with Black Coffee. In Ibiza? No, that was no, no, actually. Not no, that was actually. Oh, that was actually at Bar Nine, Present Day Recharge. Oh, shit. Oh. Recharge. Yeah. For so that was. Okay. Oh, that was a crazy one. Because what happened was Fred Cook and Mahuta had this 24 hour party thing. Okay. Where, you know, the last man standing gets like, I don't know, however many thousand rand in cash. Right, mm -hmm. so the party starts and it runs for twenty four hours. So they gave us a dance floor. So who's the last man? I, we we never see the last man. Okay, we, we never see. Everybody's too wasted to even know who's last. Ah, uh, say my whole thing been scamming people. They've been scamming. Ah, uh, no way. <laughs> and, and those are legendary parties. Yeah. I mean, those parties yeah, yeah, yeah. by Fekuku Mahuta. So they gave us a dance floor, like a rock the girls floor. Yeah. Ooh. And Black Coffee was booked to play on the main stage, mm -hmm. but because our floor was so rocky. He was like, nah, I want to play on that floor. Yes. And that's how he came through. Oh, shit. And then we ended up doing a one-on-one. -on -one, but we were so wasted. Oh, my God. You like, played together. Played together. Oh, don't. We, hey, we play open the mouth. We're going to pose. No, 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 no. You know, I'm not saying like... Oh, not you and him. I, I mean, like, Mac Mac and I were just oh. like wasted. Right? <laughs> okay, cool. And, and because we had already done our lineup, we had yeah. to make, you know, provision. So yes. Coffee's like, no, I don't mind doing a one-on-one. -on -one. Nice. And he was already like Black Coffee, the superstar, right? Yeah. Of course, yeah. So that was Even, a huge. That was a huge deal for me. Outside of the fact that I was, you know, obviously out of it, but that that, that was a special moment that I oh, that I will never forget and I will cherish man. forever. Oh, dope. Black Coffee is, oh, man. He's just something else, eh? Real nah, nigga. Black Coffee. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's perfect. I get that, but this is that's not what this is about. Like, he's one of the realest, and and in my experiences of of many people in the industry. Black Coffee is just one of the best, honestly. Hmm. When last did you talk to him? Since he's been like a, I mean, he's always been a superstar, but you know I what I mean? I spoke to him, um, and I mean, you know, as a conversation uh, when he won his Grammy. Oh, yeah, Flavor. Yeah. So he's one of the few people who he answered the calls. No, 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 like just chatting. Yeah. I don't I don't call him, by the way, because I know chances are he might not even be in the country. Yeah, he'll be. But, but, but when I text careful. him, you know, you know, he responds and whatever. Oh, great God. guy. Absolutely Shut great guy. Up. That's Absolutely so great guy. Man. And I think that's the one thing I'm very happy about, like in my time in the industry, because I got to meet my idols, number one, people that I looked up to, right? Yeah. And thankfully, 99% of them are actually great people. Like fucking amazing people. That's you know, whether good. Whether it's Fat Joe, whether it's Fresh, whether Mac it's Mosquito. Uh, <laughs> fuck, fuck Mac G. <laughs> 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 uh, now he's my dog but um you know and 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 also being able to learn from all these people right like yeah. just about so many different things who are the young ones that you acknowledge right now that you see like listen if these are the young cats who are by, coming by, up by young like what, what do we mean like because you're not you they're not definitely not in our league okay or well, your league but what, what, what like, is my league where, where do i sit then? <laughs> you are not a 2000 mo you are definitely not a 2000 Me, i'm young no. So so fresh. So fresh. Make up. He tells. He tells me. No. 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 Every time I see, every time I see, um, every, every time I see, every time I see, you know, artists and, and DJs traveling in like those those V classes, uh, I'm like, hey, I need one of those. Yo, as for I the said, family, like, right? <laughs> not for Hubley. I need, I need one of those. Not for Hubley and, 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 and Roadkill. 
Yeah, but I mean, a lot of talent. Dem Tudor. Oh, nice. It's going to want to yeah. answer how many kids. No, you shouldn't. The question was, you shouldn't. No, but, uh, no, but the, but the how question... How many kids do you have? The question was... No, the question was, you know, who in the the the, the, the new generation? <laughs> yeah. Do you, oh, yeah, that's the first you, question. Yeah, my yeah, bad. Yeah, who sorry. do you fuck with sorry, right sorry, now? Sorry, sorry, my yeah. bad. No, no, I think them two that's really cool. Okay. Um, um, hey, what's that? You what's know? What's that? You know? Come on. And I'm not talking musically. He, he, he's oh. not, no, outside of the music. Yes, his music is fantastic. Oh, right? okay. And in fact, I when, when it comes to music, Dem Tudor is top tier. Mm. But I'm talking about as a person, when you're chilling with him like this. Oh, right? no. He's out. He out. Ah, Dem Tudor is super. He's very, he's him very, and Quish. He's very, so, Quish is a great guy. Very soft, soft-spoken Dem Tudor, but very nice guy. Angelic, ah, love Angelic. JJ is the best. So Njelik. he's actually mad. <laughs> <laughs> I called NJ. So today, right, I was listening to your set before you go on of NJJ. So I'm like, hey, Angelic, give me that song. I sent a, a, a screen capture of his set and I yeah. said, I want that song. Then he sends it. Then he calls me, but I was in the shower. And then I come out, I see a missed call and he said, Fusak afterwards. <laughs> then I call him, I'm like, ah, hey, JJ. Thanks, I got the song. It's like, yeah, I'm sure about you. I'm like, no, I was taking a shower. I'm in Kaza. <laughs> this, you know what he, he says, speaking to what he's saying. He's saying, I want him, I want him, I want him, I want him. I want him, 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 I So no, chilled, right? Yeah, no, he's amazing. Yeah. Like, I'll never forget the day um, Shesha Geza played on radio for the first time. Oh. Yeah. That was on my show when I was still at Metro. Wow. And I had a whole like piano um, day on the show where I invited oh. all the guys to come in the studio. You know, a lot of them, they were all there, right? Uh, Il Cesar was there. Whoa. It was a whole party. And um, Angelic hadn't quite like come out yet, right? He, he wasn't like the star that he was. No, like. when Shesha Geza came out, no. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, no, this is my new song. So I'm like, okay, well, let's play it. And like, that was just crazy. I think it was like an Easter weekend, something Ooh. like that. Oh, man. And, and that moment for me was special because I got to see the consistency that he's the same guy he was that day, right? And even to this day. Literally. Right? Um, so he's a really great guy, great personality. You mm. know, he's, he understand, he's got that gassy soul in his music. Always. Top guy. Really top guy. So there are a few people that are that are really cool that I fucks with. But the thing about me is that I, I fucks with everybody. Oh, that's I cool. fucks with everybody. Oh, yeah. good. Good. You know, despite what, what this motherfucker always says. <laughs> <laughs> hey. But also you're fruit man, man, you know? No, but I think it's 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 been generally and where there are like, you know, tiffs or misunderstandings, you know, I always try and like work it out. Right, yeah. and that's just the thing. I remember there was a whole hoo ha with Black Motion, which got completely blown out of proportion. What and, happened? And and Murder and I are great. I don't remember. Uh, that. Small what and did I you do? are great. What did you do? Yeah, no, so <laughs> guys, you don't know about that whole thing. No, <gasps> you brought it to us now. No, jungle of memory. I think I'm okay, so, so, it, so what I just happened was um, they posted something on social media, and this is me just giving a loose story, right? Loosely, they posted something on social media. Um, and they basically, you know, said that I'm whatever, and you know, they said some shit about me, right? No, no, no. no. Is it the Specific, same shit that Mac was saying? I think about I remember you? this, but I don't remember it. But I remember a thing between you and Block Motion. Yeah. So, so, um, <laughs> so somebody sent me the post, and I was like, okay, cool. What is this about? And then, and then when Fresh was still at Metro in the in the breakfast show, yeah, he yeah, called yeah. me, mm-hmm. and he said, hey, my man, my man, uh, do you want to talk about this, my man? The guys are here. I'm like, no, 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 Fresh, I don't want to talk about this on radio. I remember this, right? Man. I can chat about it with the guys, like, off air, because I don't, I'm the kind of guys, if there's issues, you know, let's call each other, yeah. let's chat about yeah, it, yeah, yeah, and yeah. we deal with it there and then. Yeah. Oh, my man, my man, my man. I said, okay, cool. Fresh puts me on air, and I said to Fresh, I said, brother, um, thanks for, you know, the call or whatever, and I, I see what you're trying to do, and that's cool, and I appreciate it, but I think I need to speak to these guys on the phone, off air because Directly. I don't think and the reason for that also was because I didn't think it was something that was beef right what was it I, well, I think it was just a misunderstanding what? I, I re- check out get he doesn't want to tell us yeah. just check what it was like, you will tell us <laughs> tell us the story like really I mean we chill us out like now nah, hey what was it because I remember it as well but fact checker is going to get to the bottom of it so, so that's what it was, right? And I remember I bumped into them at a gig that very weekend. Beautiful. After that moment. And, you know, and, and, Beautiful. I, was actually, and I was actually performing after them. Beautiful. And I was actually performing after them. And, you know, you know, we embraced and we were cool and it was cool. How? Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
So who created the beef then if this they were cool This is what cool I'm team? saying is that people just take things out of proportion. And people always fuel stuff. So what did you say then? Uh, if there was no beef, you can tell us what happened. I, did, I didn't say anything. But what but, was but, said that but, you but said? From what, I've, from what I've picked up, and this is the other problem about, I heard that, right? I had an interview with Dr. Muruti. I right. see the, I know Dr. Mar- yeah, I see, yeah, yeah, I see yeah, yeah, Dr. Maruti. Yeah. And and he spoke a lot about how he's done a lot of music with Black Motion, but he didn't really get what was due to him. Oh, and this so was Dr. Maruti. This was all on the radio show. So I was like, okay, but why wouldn't? Why? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> no, so you know, with, with with good production, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got facts. <laughs> According to Chiss Alive, um, who's Chiss Alive now? <laughs> you are the fact checker. I it's Times Alive. Take the mic. Who's <laughs> Chiss Alive? No, right. a- take the mic. Yeah. Who's Chiss Alive? No, it's, guys. It's the blogger. Guys. It's an article. But Mo- Chiss Alive. I could, I could set up a, a blog called Chiss Alive in my yes, bedroom, Alive. getting slapped by my wife, okay. and then it's the Times Alive blog. Better. What's Chiss Alive? It's a Times Live um, blog. And a Times Live? Yes. Hey, Times Live now these days is taka ticking with credibility, <laughs> but go on. Wow, well, okay. Chiss <laughs> um, Alive. According to Imagine. them, in 2016, um, Mo Flavor was having an event where he booked the pair. However, they did not show up. Apparently, they had a traditional ceremony at home on that day and had to cancel the booking via email, but they did not call Mo. Mo claimed that the pair had dodged his calls and even their manager apparently could not get a hold of him. So there was a miscommunication. So in 2018, <laughs> so in 2018, so, this was a DJ Fresh requested that they iron it out live on the radio show. So Mo Flavor booked the pair the and pair it was not fruitful. <laughs> yes. Basically so. Thank you. But you see what I'm saying you around the link. So People are linking that yeah. to whatever they think is going on. Mm. Yes, it's true. I did an event and they didn't pitch, but we mm. dealt with it. Right? And, and that was that. And when ended. you say whatever that's going on, like you broke them apart. No, 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 no. Why would I do that? <laughs> like, I'm no, trying no, to, like... No, 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 no. This is way back. This is way back. No, this is way back. Way this back is not in the context of Black They broke up now. now, but this is so, way back. So the point, the, the, the point is that I'm the kind of guy that will always, like, let's chat about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, I don't yeah. like... If we have a dispute, I don't like talking about it, like, on radio shows and podcasts and then, like, now, let's chat about it, right? Yeah. Let's chat about it. If you, if you, if you be, if I've done something wrong, pick up the phone and you tell me that, dude, you're fucking up. And this is why, or, you know, you've done this to me and this is why. And this is what I've always maintained. This is what I've always maintained. Flavor. And, and even with Mac, for example, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, 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 never, I've never taken his money. Mm. I've never taken his girl. Mm. I've never taken a job. Mm. I've never taken his oxygen. Mm. I've never taken his shine. Mm. I haven't taken shit I, from you, him. You've you never taken his shine. You've 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 never taken his shine. But I'm here taking his goddamn podcast. But, and so, and so um, you know, so there's no, that's why in my mind, there's yeah. no, there are no issues. So that's my approach. And even with Black Motion, oh, the most beautiful interview I had with Murder, right? When he went solo on Metro. He had his album out and he, and he came to, for the interview and, you know, and he said, you know, after the interview and whatever, because the album had just came out. Mm. He said the, the album was doing well on iTunes and literally wow, after that interview, man. you know, it was number one and, and it was beautiful. Wow. And for me, it's, that's the relationship I've always had with Black Motion, even with Small, you know what I mean? So, so whenever there's issues or misunderstandings, I always prefer pick up the phone and let's talk. Sweet. Before we close, you know, um, our crew is busy signaling to us, like, guys, we've been talking for the past two hours. Fuck! We were supposed to stop at, <laughs> at an hour and a half. The show hasn't even begun. But wait, hi, Damn. We, ah, we're ending now. Fast, fast, fast. Before that, guys, I really need to get your opinions on the JMPD. You know now they're going to be wearing cams. So the bright Can days I, are I, over. I, come, come. Are you ready? Yeah. You know, guys, your 3 a.m. Uh, drives from the yeah, club. All I'm going to say is um, uh, now I will not drive myself to any gig okay. to and fro. Okay. Now, my thing is, it's a whole thing, you know, like with our government, every time there's a special uh, situation where there needs to be a deal, someone's going to eat. COVID, 
vaccines. Hey. How much did we spend billions? And now a lot of those vaccines are not even going to be put in use. Someone's going to eat. Eat tolling. We're not paying e tolls. Someone's got to eat. Yeah. Uh, every, every time there's a deal with government, someone's got to eat. But my thing is, they could be of great service, number one. To eliminate the bribery facts. Ah, uh, I'm not move. I'm not Also, when I say camera, the camera. No, or maybe the camera will be, will be offline. The camera will be offline. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, they will drop it. Oh, oh, oh. The guy will just show it. Pants go meow. At clip. I like at the Havana. Next time, I'm warning you, we'll catch you. <laughs> but the system would have already oh, oh, oh. said you were driving at 240 kilometers per hour, which is wrong in this place, right? So, yeah. no, 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 but stop, stop. So Le- legally, legally. We need to, the car must be impounded, already the processes must be followed. Oh, is that the legal process? No, no I'm just saying, if you are just, Guys. Uh, uh, situated in a certain place, they know that this place, if the car is already, if we see steam, it clockily already. Yeah, and here's the thing, right? We all know that there's a whole bunch of shit that goes down when an officer pulls you over. And I feel, as somebody who travels at night a lot, that they, they almost like make it a point yeah, bueno. to find all the party hotspots and literally camp in and around. That's true. Four ways to this thing. Here's, there. here's yeah. my question all the time. And, mm. I, and I understand that drinking and driving is wrong and I get all of that. But if you're saying, you know, this is an, an open economy where everybody can, you know, pretty much run businesses, have nightclubs, make money, create jobs. Yeah. Then patrons go to these places and they obviously had an, like a drink. Yeah. People leave there drunk and whatever. Yeah. Or in some states, I won't say everybody's drunk when they leave a club. In okay. Yeah. In some states. <laughs> <laughs> They're leaving some kind of state. Yeah, exactly. What <laughs> state? Kind of, what kind of state, state or, or, down, yeah. or down state. <laughs> or down state. Oh, but the yeah. thing is, they know, they know that we, we are leaving places and then they're there. It's like they're waiting for you. Mm. Yeah. And I just think sometimes like it's, it's a bit unfair. They know what's up. Because there's no, no, so many, no, no, no. There's so many people other people must request Ubers. Yeah, yeah, people there's no re- excuse. No, if if if, if no, the I'm not. Listen, JPD so, I'm wants not, to pack yeah, out at the club. But I'm not making excuses. I'm saying sometimes it feels like this, they deliberately and strategically for camp for coal. and that's the point I'm getting for to coal. with the bribery because they know that the admin of being booked and having to go to a police station and be in a holding cell. You know, ghost, you don't want to go through that. No, no, definitely not. You know not. what I mean? Like, you, you're rolling with your hubby. You guys want to go have, you know, gang sex after. And then there are these cops there now My arresting your nigga. My husband not drink. You know he what I mean? Drink, like, so he would you know what I mean? Like, He's all my of that designated stuff. driver. No, beautiful. Yeah. So uh, not everybody has a designated driver. No, no, no. Her husband has a drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, he just <laughs> drinks pussy juice. Pussy juice. <laughs> pussy juice. <laughs> It's just pussy so juice, sometimes right? it just feels like you know they 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 take advantage of the fact that they know that people are gonna pay Giorgio. Yeah. So I, I want to see how these cameras are gonna roll out. Mm. I want to see who's gonna get the tender. That's right? an, that's what I was Eddie saying. Any sort is gonna get. The <laughs> this guy, um, Edwin, not Edwin, 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 I can't. Oh, you know that sort of thing. That sort of thing. You know so Edwin sort of was sort of was former technology company this week. <laughs> Uh, next week, oh, Simnani. Oh, no. <laughs> nice I want to see who's going to get the tender. It's DJ Giovanni of government. And, uh. and I want to see if it's actually going to work. Like, are these cameras going to work? Let's start there. Because my biggest issue with our government is that shit doesn't work. Nothing works. Yeah, nothing ever works. works. I mean, you could... It's like, they'll probably have body cams, but there's no camera inside. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like a camera. Like, there's no camera. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Then that's the thing. Like to me, it's a great idea. Especially the balance. You have a submarine. You have a submarine. So I'm a lens. I was fine. <laughs> and all these <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> no, no, all those excuses. That's the thing. But in 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 like in an ideal world, it should work properly. You know what I mean? Because also some cops have been killed in the line of duty. Exactly. And it would be great to solve some cases, etc. But in South Africa, there's always going to be an, ex- an excuse. Yeah, I'm just like, you know will this shit work? Like, can it work? Exactly. We're not even asking for like iPhone quality. Ex- you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> but we're not even asking for like... Android. 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 Yeah, but if it does work, how much would it cost? Mobile cell quality here. <laughs> That's it. 
That's it. And how that's much it. would it have cost? Yeah. That was, so that's a problem with our country. Yes. Sadly. Yeah, but look, um, listen, guys, it's been great being here. I've been told to wrap the show. How, how many hours now? Which is which is fine, right? Um, You're trying to do a three-hour show, Mo. Let's close this. How long is it? 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 I put it in a stubby in a team. I see it in a bite size. Make excuses. Minimum. No, no, no. Talk, talk, talk. More, 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 more. This is the longest. This is the longest talk. Exactly. Show you've done. How? Pelawana. You're not sweeps. I'm a double play. Exactly. Four songs, five songs. Nigga. I'm a life read. Yeah, but you know, also, closing, speaking of uh, your radio stuff, shout out to your, your colleague, Anele. You know, Anele, Anele Mtota? Yep. Her father, uh, Pat Mtota, he opened an early child development uh, 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 center in the Eastern Cape. Uh, fact checker, you can check that out, but it's true. Uh, the father, Pat Mtota, opened up an early childhood development center. Oh, dope. You know, Anele Mtota's father is like a... You know, this rich guy. I don't know, is it like an, a businessman slash something? But he he did that initiative, oh, obviously no. in collaboration with a couple of sponsors. Nice. You know? Okay, oh, yeah, that's good. Shame. That's what he that's a Bella joke. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, no, 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 Nana, it's That's how Twitter from Force Look came up with the song. It's good, it's nice. What's this? The guys are giving me a phone. They're saying, uh, call winner of iPad. Oh, yeah, we've got a winner. We've got a winner. We've got a winner. We have a winner. We have a winner. We have a winner. So we've got a winner of an iPad. One of the guys who bought tickets to the uh, um, Road to One Million happening 30th of July, San Petarina. You've got the number. Let's call the guy. What's his name? More There's Maybe different. The I'm, I'm looking at numbers here. You know? The first one. The first name What's I have here is Kitumeti. Kitumeti. Mukai. 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 Okay. Kitumeti Mukai. Mukai. Utsuakai. So let's find out. Marulo. So how many tickets? Uh, it's just one caller. Yeah, okay. yeah but how many they, tickets? What do they win? A double? No, they they win an iPad. Oh, an iPad. iPad. Oh, yeah. well, they bought tickets. So they don't win. Oh, okay. Yeah, they bought tickets and won an my iPad. My phone? Yeah. Why? I don't have the number on my phone. No, here's the number here. Yeah, but you're going to call it phone. phone. Nigga, I don't fucking know. Okay. okay so so you, need, you, you, you need a phone to be connected to what? Yeah. Yeah, Bluetooth, so no, so you have you are connected to the Bluetooth. Yeah. Bluetooth. They're gonna WhatsApp call them. I ain't using my air time on this goddamn show. They're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna WhatsApp call them or real oh, call God. them. <laughs> WhatsApp call them on my phone because my phone. I've got a strange uh, situation with my phone. I don't know what. To, I don't real call people. I've got two phones. So ah. real call people and WhatsApp call. I will own it. Oh, it's on my phone. I too. Pelle, I'm shutting on to one. Oh, no shutting that boy. The, the house two, marriage. Two, two, two phones is too okay, much. Okay, but on the real, would you recommend marriage? Yes, but only on what basis? But only, but only if you want to 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 build with someone else. That's the thing. If you want to build a life with someone, then yes. And doesn't and I, matter about that someone or just anyone. No, no, you can't just pick anyone. And the sad reality is that sometimes you don't know com- completely who you're marrying. But you dated your girl for like a long time. Yeah. yeah. You feel like you... You know who you're you, married? You, okay. That's a I thing. know enough. I know enough. And, oh. and I'm happy with what I know. But I'm still learning more to this day. Wow. And there's a you're lot of stuff. still learning. Yeah, What's your a, worst day? There, what is your worst day? Yo. In marriage. There, oh, man, I mean, it's, it's different things. You know, like one day we'll fight about like... Um, small things like you didn't the, pick the, up the kids. The on morning time. rush, you know what I mean. Yes, and like yes. you know, you late and this that. You know, you fight about stuff like that. You know, so it's different things. It's What's different your worst things. morning? I want to lose to shut deal. What's your worst morning? The it would be just taking long. You know, you know, Naga just takes long. Around. Ah, oh, no, 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 no,
things to do with the eyes. So no, when you say he takes you long, I don't understand what no, you mean. No, no, no. He takes. He I'm takes single. Us. Remember? No, no, no. He takes our son to school. So obviously, my son, I'd, I'd have finished getting him ready. Everything. He'll be ready to go. And he's just not. They're not leaving. It's like school starts at half past seven. They're not leaving. Why? What are they still doing at twenty past seven at home? Yeah. How far is the school? It's two minutes. <laughs> Which but it's traffic. is the best thing ever. Now as yeah. an IT guy, so I'm sure he's precise so, so with time. W- when when do you think you're gonna you're gonna get married? In the next uh, year or two. And uh, are you with the person you're gonna marry? <laughs> hey. Yeah, I, I am. think we're gonna need to delete this part. I am. No, no, no. no, no, no I, am. I am. I am. I am. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and are we gonna leave what, this part on? What, what makes you feel like she's the one? Like me, yeah, yeah. from the age of like twenty-five, I've always dated to marry. <laughs> I'm that's, actually, that's actually crazy because I'm a dating to marry kind of guy. Like I'm, I'm a dating to marry kind of guy. I, I told you. Ten years later, but I'll shut down. I told you. Who wanna go, Malak? Who wanna go, Malak? Kitu meti mukai. Yeah. Pull up the speaker. Yeah, no problem. Oh, okay, there we go. Hello. Kitty Hello. How are you? Oh, uh, this is podcast and chill. You speaking to Sopa Duga? I'm fine. What's going on? You just showed yourself an iPad. Congratulations, you won an iPad. Uh, you bought tickets to our Road to One Million event, Sun Bet Arena, Pretoria. So well done. Mike is not here with more flavor. <laughs> hey, Kitu Meti. Hello, my baby. How are you? I'm very well in you. Well done, yeah. Well done, Kitu yeah, I, I I hope it's 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 a real like yeah, iPad that you that that you got like. Ah. <laughs> no, I, no, I have a I think I'm a fake baby. No, <laughs> more flavor things were out here, you know, peddling lies. If it's fake, yeah. contact more flavor. <laughs> well done, Gitu Meti. Enjoy, ne? Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, bye. Well done, Gitu. Shab Shab, see you um, on at St. Metarina, at St. Petarina. Uh, hey, Utwala, so hey, Utwala. <laughs> see you at San, at the St. Petarina. <laughs> hey, Utwala, we'll put a At the St. Metarina. Yeah. Ha, ah, son. Guys, you kind of haven't been to Summit in two years. St. Arena. I haven't been there in... Ah, when so you go sometimes. When Sometimes. No, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. When last were you uh, uh, No, dude, I haven't been to a strip club. In, I used to live up at the sun. Like... I used to have a dinner at the summit. I used to have like all the every like I, Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, for instance, the Grand has got great lunch, etc. Um, even the Grand. But the last time I went to a strip club was actually summit many years ago. I think like 20, 2008. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I haven't been to summit in a while. Yeah. Like you I grow these things, you know? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we're closing it up now. Spew is saying we're running out of what are we running out of? I don't know. We're running out of data. Because you can't say feeling out of time. Out of say feeling. Not feeling out of everything. audio time. No, but listen, guys, thank you so much for, for, um... Oh. <laughs> You're running out of cassette. <laughs> oh, it's cassette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No. <laughs> All right, no, thank you so much. So, thank you. <laughs> Super <laughs> recording, yes, <laughs> Si recorda ya ziar sila. Thank you so much, Ghost Lady. Thank Highly appreciated. So Thanks to the whole crew. Thank and you. yeah, man, it was great fun being here. And uh, you know, I hope that uh, Mac G will carry on talking shit about me. Flavor! Because that's exactly what he's gonna do next episode. Flavor! 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 Bye! Flavor! And the mashabella, please, please, please. Oh, we didn't do mashabella. So, so, we are recording at. Yeah. at live from Mashabella. Let's go. I'm doing it. Yeah. What, what is it? Mashabella. <laughs> live from Mashabella Studios if you want to. Record. It's yeah. podcast at mashabella.co.za. Okay. That's it. We're coming to you live from Mashabella okay. Studios and yeah, podcast yeah, yeah, at this. Yeah, that's cool, cool. They told me what to say. We're coming to you live from Mashabella Studios. If you want to record here, it's Mashabella at. No, no, it's podcast at. 
Oh, okay. I told me what to say. But coming from you, live from Mashabela Studios. If you want to record here, it's email Pod- at Mashabela Studios. Podcast at Mashabela Studios. Oh. <laughs> at? Podcast. Podcast. At? Mashabela.co. No, no. At Mashabela.co. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, guys, wait, wait. They just told me where we're coming from. I know. With Mashabela Studios. If you want to record here, email podcast at mashabela.co.zere.zere. Oh, oh, bye. I think I fucked that up. But that's fine. Oh, okay. This is the Podcast and Chill Network. I'm so Kanye, confused. Kanye, people know your voice and it's written. <laughs> yeah, like, chillers are not stupid. I That's am not... so confused. Are you going to deny? And please explain uh, Boxing Day, Musango. How did that come about? Musango. Um, I don't really know the history how that come about. The crap is on. Let's go, man. Let's go now. Uh, Bro, I realized eh? yesterday, I yeah. realized I started piano talk. Huh? I started piano. Ah. I kid you not, guys. Irpe. 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 I never realized that. There's no vendor in the There's national no anthem. Vendor, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't know. At least in uh, something, you know, mm-hmm. at the end. Or okay, casual. So. Modeling. Modeling, I should, but I don't. I should, oh, but you'd, I don't. You would kill, you, you would, after you enjoy you'd, you'd kill these jet adverts and all. Ah, 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 Give me a beat. Mpo, I'm gonna leave me. Ah, I've got this gospel song, Rebecca, I mean, uh, ah, ah, <laughs> Up to the top now, some of the shirts, some of the shirts, now this is it's a robbery now, try your shoes. <laughs> Sound it! Uh, is that what he says? It's yeah. a robbery now, try your shoes. It's a robbery now, try your shoes. On our lives. Which what is one? going on? Hey, man, it's not podcasting chill. <laughs> <laughs> Come back home. Okay, so... What's up, everybody? My name is Miss Pru. Yeah, so what's up, everybody? Yo, what's up, everybody? Yo, what's up, everybody? Yo, what's up, everybody? Are you ever going to show your thong anytime soon? Eh, <sighs> no. Hey, I'm not. Why, why? Uh, maybe a bit of bubinyana. Nah, all right. <laughs> yeah. I know. Mm. I've seen y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll rock the girls, hey? Ah, mm. Good time. Hey. If Nomzama came to me and say, leave the podcast, and we will be great. Ah, come on. I'm leaving you guys. Bible. I'm leaving you. Bible. Come on. This is the Podcast and Chill Network.